Gonna leave it on record. Okay. I need to hang it, but it's heavy as hell. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you can, can you chill over here? You there can sit on my couch. Just blow it Get out. Get out. <laughs> For a uh, uh, split right second, there. I thought that that, sh that hat right, on Facebook was like Photoshop, oh. dude. But the fact that it really Asian says get out, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Thanks. I did Photoshop that the photo a little bit. I don't know if you know it. <laughs> For a little bit. With Max? Max was yeah. photoshopped, right? Was he? That's true, I am a photoshopper. You were photoshopped in that background? Uh, yeah, I was, yeah. No, I was actually there. You're lying. I'm lying. <laughs> I'm a liar. So, James, what's going on? What, so, James. What? Hold up, hold up. You're looking crazy there, friend. Uh... Oh, no. Uh, what's going on? Here we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright, what's up? What's going on? I bought one of the stupidest shirts I ever. Switched the head I, was... I switched the headband on my headphones, so the cups swivel. Tell me what this is from, James. <laughs> oh, shit, Cobra Kai? <laughs> Why Keep would... the leg, dude. Dude, it straight up says All Valley Karate Championship. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's pretty random, dude. And pretty mean what they did to that kid. Jeez. Yeah. What what is that referencing? That is referencing Karate, karate kid. kid One. Oh, Karate Kid. Oh. There, it's a random shirt that you see in the corner. Like everyone who attended that martial arts tournament is just wearing this shirt, and I was like, I want that shirt. <laughs> and I was like, Do they make that shirt? They did. What's gonna get here? Sick. Two HDMI cables for two dollars. Oh Sick. my god! Two dollars. Uh, will they work? Will they work? I broke they, one. Yeah, I yeah, broke no. one of my HDMI cables. That's I I bought an iPhone cable for six dollars on eBay once. That shit lasted two weeks. It's all right. These are Ooh. they've got caps on them, so you know. They you know it's oh, fresh. Wow. <laughs> oh, look, at, look how fresh that is. That's fresh. Mm. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> really? Two bucks, though? Will they work? eBay, man. I bought my sister an SSD for $45. Ooh. What? That, wait, that was 60 gigs and it was 45 bucks? Yeah. So, wait, that's an SSD drive? This? Yeah. This tiny little thing. Okay. What yeah. you... My sister was like, <sighs> hey, how much are they? And I was like, you know what? I just sniped one for you. Aw. <laughs> Aw, we're a good brother. We are. I'm a good brother. <laughs> what, uh, That's is she TV going to... Too. She just wants <laughs> Windows on it. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. My, uh... Oh, so she, wait, does so she have a Mac? And she's going to do boot camp on no, that No, no, no. She has just one big hard drive, and it... On her oh, main PC, I... and it's like messing yeah, up on try. her. Like, oh, shit. she got like a virus, and she was like, Can we just start fresh? Yes, you can. Yes, we can. Kelly, what is up? Fresh. Fresh. I I was just talking to Royce yesterday, and he was like, Can't wait till you guys you put like up another fine. cast. Aw. <laughs> Royce, our lord and savior. <laughs> Royce. They're all cool. Watching they my Twitch for cool. some random reason. Shout out to Royce. We love Royce. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Everything's so, ready. Uh, no. Awesome. James is hilarious. <laughs> so what's a... 
so what's what's new with everybody? Because I mean, we casted like December, December, and we were like saying, "All right, end of the year, uh, yeah, oh, shit. got this." Uh, yeah, that's my roommates. We should uh, yeah. Hold on. Um, let's wait for James. Do we start? Yeah. It's recorded. Well, we're still in the middle of this thing. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what's it called? Who gets the reference? Another day old okay? Tab. Wait a second. Tab? Tab. That's in the soda? Yes. I got these cups cool. that just say like random soda things. Oh. This one just happens um, to say tab. It's called. <laughs> I have no idea. It, it's a it's a yeah. reference to the soda. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a red. little on, it's a little on the nose, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't give you a tab unless you order something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just, okay. Like, yeah. Go ahead and ask her. Um. Yeah. Ask her. Ask her, James. Ask her now. I go. Have a good one. Ask James about Flappy right. Bird. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. yeah right. The neighbor came by. It's all right, man. <sighs> Neighbors are cool. Make sure you keep out the cast to the neighbor. Yeah. Shout out to your neighbor. <clears throat> yes. Shout out to Bill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't reveal. Really really he just walked out. Anyway, what's good? What's good, everybody? Not oh. Much. Quite a. Did actually? I quit my job. What? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. What is what Chase gonna do, do without you? They're gonna fucking chase suffer its own now. tail. Um, oh chase no, its that's own tail. What you... <laughs> <laughs> suckers. Right back to bank. So what's going on, Max? America. Tell us. Uh, tell us the. Uh, well, you don't have to go in too much detail. Oh, no, I don't mind. Uh, so basically, I was I realized that I was wasting my time there, and it was uh, not worth the amount of money that I was making. And I realized that I needed to kickstart my freelance gig as soon as I could because I'm still young and probably shouldn't do it when I'm older. So uh, so yeah, I'm doing freelancing full time now, and it's really nice to be able to have my own hours and my own time to sort of do everything I want to do. Uh, so yeah, I'm working on projects already and just trying to get myself out there. Um, I'm really glad you're happy though. Can you share any of these projects or are they secret? Uh, well, one of them oh, one of them is a serial fiction that actually the, the site that Kelly and I both worked on, Geek Eccentric, uh, mm -hmm. one of the editors in chief on there um, AJ O'Connell, she, she's an author, and she's had. I, unfortunately, I don't know any of the, the titles of her other books off the top of my head. But uh, she's doing a serial <laughs> fiction. Uh, <laughs> she's doing a serial fiction on the site. So, like every month, every the first Sunday of every month will be a new chapter, and along with each chapter will be an illustration from me. So, mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing. And, and then this the is other, on Geek Centric or no? Yeah, this is on Geek Eccentric. Okay. Uh, so it'll be a serialized thing, uh, you know, once a month. And yeah, and then I've got other things I'm working on. Oh, Gesundheit. Thank you. Uh, and uh, one of the other things I'm working on, which I can't really go too into, is a video game. Um, yeah. And I, yeah. Sexy. Yeah. And uh, it's with a bunch of cool dudes. Uh, and uh, we're kind of still in the, the beginning stages of it, but the guy I'm working with... Um, you know, he, he's he been making games, like not just video, but he's been making games since he was seven years old. So he's wow. really totally he's proud. really into the mechanics and, you know, how to, basically how to design one and, you know, and so he, like, he showed me a design document of his and I was just like, oh shit, this is, this is particular. And so I was really like, I'm really looking forward to working with him. So I'm already doing stuff for that and... That's awesome. Yeah, so yeah, keep it busy. How That's about uh, how about all of you? Thank you. Pretty cool, dude. Thank you. Have you guys ever made your own game, <clears throat> like board game? Because I have. <laughs> you did. Oh wait, yeah, did you show me that? 
No, I mean just like for school assignments, you never had to like make a board game. Yeah, I've done that. I did. I've done that twice. I've, I don't think I ever did it. I made one. I remember making one for fun when I was younger. I made like cut out pieces of paper and stuff like that. I remember and, like drawing stuff, and it just sucked. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I never dived back into that. <laughs> I was like <laughs> I, looking at it, and I, I said, the way "You started that, dude!" Like <laughs> I remember, it was like stuff, a rant. It was it like just... a shoots and ladders thing. I tried to make my own shoots and ladders, but the board was like it's supposed <laughs> to be squared. But obviously, you're a kid. You're just like, yeah. And then I'm just like, this is never gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, man. What'd you make, Kelly? What was your board game? Um. I made a for math class we had to make like a um a math themed board game and I made a a quiz game so it was basically like you land it was it was a board and you landed on a color and then you had to pick a card a qu from that color and it was a question like mode median mode median or range and it'd be a question about that and at the end there's there's like there's X's and you had to dig with dig tre for treasure that actually sounds and, really fun like, oh yeah, that's what it was. There was like three different X's, but only one of them had the treasure, and you didn't know which one. So there was luck built into it. So even if you were like getting more questions right, and th someone else could land at the at the right treasure before you did. That sounds. I made, I made that in middle school, and then in actually I made both in middle school. One that was in seventh grade. In sixth grade, I made for. Did, this is like a special program called TAG. Did you guys have TAG in your school? Nope. Uh, yeah. I, I, it's it's anyway. Um, we had gay. Did what? Uh, do you mean like a program, like a computer program, or do you mean like a program, like a special program for like gifted children? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh my god! <laughs> I I got your joke, James. Um. <laughs> Gate? Yeah. Gate? No, it, yeah, it was like, it was stood for talented and gifted, so oh, yeah. it was basically like, you took a uh, some sort of weird IQ test, and... Where you're like, hey, here's a shape, try to rotate it in your mind. Yeah, and looking back, it's like, why did they make this, like, this weird sort of <laughs> club that made you feel uh, superior to every other person? <laughs> Uh, gotta, gotta weed out the failure, you know. Yeah. I, I never got in that club. Because we we only all we did was goof around in that group anyway. Like we got out of class just to like goof around and play board games. Play with shapes. Oh, uh, it's like. Basically, like, <laughs> like Legos and stuff. It's like oh, you're smarter than the rest, so you can miss <laughs> you can, out on some learning. Yeah, you're smarter than the rest. You don't have to <laughs> you don't have to learn this stuff, or you're smarter than the rest. Just go play for like the last two hours. No, speak, speaking of tortoise and the hare, you know. <laughs> That's when I discovered Moncala, and I was obsessed with Moncala. Oh, that's oh. a fun game. I like that game. I that my awesome. game, yeah, my first game was based off of Moncala, but it was like a shitty version, and I don't, I don't, <laughs> I just wanted to use like different pieces and beads, uh, but I don't remember how it worked. And I called it Shalom, and someone was like, "Are you Jewish?" <laughs> I said, "No, I just like the word." <laughs> uh. I never know how to play Moncala, so literally, if no one was playing, I'd put it across the room and try to throw things into those little holes. <laughs> but it's impossible because they're gonna bounce. Play it again. We should, you know. Well, we're hanging out tomorrow, so I, we can play it tomorrow. You should live stream it. <laughs> yeah, yes. we'll live stream. Let's live play Moncala. stream Moncala. <laughs> live stream Moncala. And I never, Let's and play. I never get, I never pick the right. Is there? Do you guys find that it's always the the first turn matters the most, and then the rest you're fucked. Or is it? Is there definitely? Unless you got really good strategy. I'm not gonna lie, I've never played my call of the raid. It's supposed to play, so I have no oh, idea. Oh, oh shit! I, I've... Yeah. <clears throat> I'm fucking up. Um, <laughs> my jong doesn't count, is, James. Is there is there a Tagalog name for it? Mancala? <laughs> It's African, isn't it? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, there, there probably is. There is. There's also like, but like I remember, I remember my sister calling it Suka Suka or something. No, that that is, that is what it is. Yeah, 
Uh, actually, that is what it is. Yeah? yeah suka it, Suka? Yeah, it's a different form. Wow. Check this out. Here's a little oh. Filipino trivia. My, I, I might have this backwards. But the word suka is like a vinegar. Suka. It's like vinegar, okay. right? But okay. suka is throw up. <laughs> yeah. Like vomit. Really? It's vomit. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, like, I remember my mom telling me, like, it means throw up, too. It's just so you know. I'm like, why? Why would I play that game? I don't know. Yeah, if you extend if you extend the end syllable just a little bit more than it should be, it's a whole new. Thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like anyway. shit and shite. Shit. But yeah, Kelly, what else? Shizer. What else is up with the kill screen? What What yeah. else is up with the kill screen besides sure. what I already said, which was yeah. nothing? Um, I'm working on my next article. Hello. Um. Yeah, it's been a, a bit of delay because um, we're working on a, uh, another project. Like the whole, all the interns are working on another project. And Max and I went to KatsuCon last week. Royce yeah, told me about yeah. that on the Twitch. I was playing Twitch. That, it was that like, was the was that the one where you guys cosplayed as like FF five characters again? Yeah. yeah. Cool. And Rocco was like, FF five sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't you mean you guys were the real? You guys weren't cosplaying. Just don't lie. You guys are really. What's the name? Bart's and and. Yeah, that? Max has a chocolate. What's that garage. girl's name? Lena, Luna, Lena, Lena. 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 I said Lena, Luna. I couldn't say Lena. Jeez. Ridia. Ridia. Ridia, my main squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> What's your main squeeze, James? Ridia all the way. Main squeeze? Yeah. Ridia? Uh, didn't, you, didn't you tell me you weird. had a thing against half it's espers? Kind of, it's gotta be... It's kind of pedo-ish. Well, I'm pretty um, sure she's legal by the time a, she comes back, yeah, right? She, yeah. she, she, she's not even what, human, brah. She's half esper. Mm. For anything, yeah. you are too young for her. <laughs> That's Terra, dude. That's Terra. That is Terra. You Geek. know what? Geek. Get it right! Geek. Jeez! Get it right, dude. Well then, yeah. I'll just say it. Then Terra was my main squeeze. <laughs> mm -hmm. <I> <laughs> no, Terra was awesome. What were we talking uh, about? <laughs> I like Celeste too. She, yes. she was like, that was just sad. Oh my god. Yeah. I've never Yo. seen a suicide in attempt in eight I know. I was like, whoa, she <laughs> gave up. And then yeah. she and then she failed at giving up. It's like, oh, oh. man. You know what one, it is? The one female protagonist. Well, actually, Lightning. I don't know what Lightning did. Did Lightning kill herself? She should have. She, she I came mean, back from three games. <laughs> That's what she did. And holy crap, Max. <laughs> she returns. Uh, yeah. She returns. She's forever. Um, Lightning yeah. forever. Why? Uh, wow, yeah. I guess, you know, it's weird. I guess it, there's really like a 50-50 split on people who like and do not like Lightning. But Square certainly wants us to like her, like her a lot. Maybe Can they're we... just... Are we going to talk about what we played yet? Oh, yeah. Well, we what, have to what? talk about what you've been up to, James. Uh, yeah. Work. Work and work. And then, yeah, work. Um, work? What are you grabbing? When, like, okay, edit this out. <laughs> can you edit this out? I, I can edit this out, yes. All right, so uh, when I bought this vape pen. Um, Why would I edit that out? They Unless gave you me put weed something... pills. Oh, okay. That's why. <laughs> no, there's uh, no reason to edit this out. They help me sleep, like, <laughs> fucking really good. These weed pills, I don't know what they do. But I've been hey, knocking it's, out, it's, like, it's medicinal sleep. to help you sleep. It's medicinal, bro. medicine for your head. Don't worry about it, bro. Yeah. I'm not editing that. That's, I hey, thought you were going to yeah. say something else. Like, put that vape up your butt or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, check uh, this out. <laughs> check this out. I found a new way to vape. <laughs> yeah, that's horrible. Okay. Might as well. But what anyway, have we been yeah. playing? Um, I have been playing Shin Megami Tensei 4. Hey, Flappy Bird? And... Did you just I... say Flappy Bird? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> why would... Why... <laughs> Don't tell people I play that. <laughs> I... Don't tell people Shin Megami I play that. Tensei 4. What is yes. the difference between that and Tensei Dress. I haven't played any of the Tensei 
Tensei's. Touche, Tensei. Okay. Touche. So how do you like it? I it's hard. <laughs> I, I I I can't seem to get through at least like five minutes of the game without having to restart. It's still fucking hard. It, like it's such a fifty fifty of what the fuck happens with everything. Is it battle. really? Yeah. Wait, hold on, like, let's ask okay. our resident Shin Megami. If they ambush you like straight up, it's like okay, they can wipe your whole damn thing out. Is this true, Max? Uh, how far are you in the game, actually? I'm only in, like... Okay, I'm, like, level 15. I'm fighting a Medusa. Okay. It's uh... It is... It is harder... It, I, I did find that it was really hard in the beginning. But then once you get more What abilities, apps did you buy? Because I saved I up... And apps. I saved up and bought that MP regeneration walking thing. That can, that can like, totally... Like make or break the game, or not unless they, they can totally break the game later, because I don't know how far you are up in that, because that you can get more additions to that app. You can get it to the point where everybody in your party is regenerating MP while you walk. That's beautiful. Oh my yeah. god, I want that. Yeah, that, totally. It's it's wonderful, because you do need to heal so much in that game. Uh, but I find... Yeah. I, I, I assume you're, you're utilizing... But I do like, negotiate a lot with some of the demons I come across. Like, if I have them in my team art, I negotiate as much as I can so they heal and they give them money and all that shit. It's of course, cool yeah. they do that. It's, I really like that. I don't know if you noticed, but when you negotiate and you bring a demon onto your team, you gain way more experience yeah, if you, you do, do that uh -huh. than if you do to, like, fight them. It's like, whoa. Yeah, when you. you fight them, you get, like, maybe half. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then you can actually... If you want, you can get the app that levels up, that that, mul that that adds a multiplier to the amount of experience you gain while negotiating, too. Oh, yeah, I saw the one that was like, yeah, 0.5 or something like that. Yeah, 1. exactly. 1.5 or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with you. It's, like, it's tough in the beginning. It's, a hard, like, it's not tough as Neil's game, but I am enjoying it. It's just hard to enjoy, too. Totally. Well, once you get deeper into it, you will probably not have as hard a time. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll be much more powerful and kick yeah, a lot more ass. Because yeah, Max, yeah. I've been. I told you how work has been, and it's been weird. And, yeah. Uh, I needed a game to just really unwind on. Oh, dude, totally. I can. I completely understand. Yeah. Ugh. But I'm glad you're enjoying that, though. That's 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 sweet. Have, have you been playing Flappy Bird? <laughs> um, I got three. You got three? Yeah. You do know... That's three. That's as far as I've gotten. And, like, I gave up, like, immediately. I was like, okay, I see why this is frustrating, and I don't want this in my life. <laughs> like, I heard you... that first thump, and it was like, oh, Jesus, what the fuck? <laughs> there are some people, after that game went off the market, that were selling their phones because they had it installed yeah, on their phones. Yeah, I, I heard about that. For like thousands. Yeah. Like, Jesus Christ. That's crazy. And I have it yeah. on my phone. Yeah, you should sell your phone for like thousands of dollars. Thousands of bucks, dude, because you can't yeah. get it anymore. It's yeah. jailbroken. Did anyone, did anyone buy it? Oh. Tell me no one actually were buying that. Okay. I didn't buy it. It's free, no, no, though. No, 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 no. I mean, people... Oh. Uh, Not anymore. People were selling the... the the phones. No one was actually really oh. buying those, were they? I hope not. Oh, I don't but know. People Please are tell me. dumb enough. Oh my yeah. god. I will lose it. I, <laughs> I uninstalled it, and I was like, I'm done. You could make that game again in Game Maker for free, yeah. and then just play it on your own phone. So, you know, it's not like that game is a huge... It's not like it's a huge... Um, Man, there was know. a temp worker uh, I worked with, and he was telling me he was a game designer. And he was telling me all about Game Maker. And, oh. uh, and he's like, yeah, dude, um, that's probably the cheapest and easiest way to do your thing. He's like, yeah, I use a... Uh, uh, you know, I forgot. Anyway. But he's like, yeah, like jump on a bunch of For Dummies books if you're ever really serious about it. Actually, here's the bigger question. If you knew your game was making 50 Gs a day... Why would you pull it? Maybe because he has integrity. It's like, <laughs> this, game, this game is too addictive. I can't 
I can't allow. Uh, he said he couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, take and it. also, oh, also like, I don't think he was literally making 50 G's a day. I think people mm -hmm. like after I think the way business works. Yeah. yeah, the way business works is like to all the I, I forgot, but yeah. I was reading about it, how they explained it. Because he got it money from ad what? revenue, and it's not that crazy. Can it be? <laughs> it can. I think it can get pretty crazy, but I don't know how much he was he was actually making. Well, let's, let's take quick, a look at that. quick, make a name with a random bird in it. Uh, uh, um, uh, make a uh, game with a random bird in it. Oh yeah, uh, it must be the bird. Like a first, Angry Birds, and now Flappy Birds. Obviously, bird is the key. Thing is, uh, <laughs> obviously uh, we have okay. to is make... a consistent factor in success. <laughs> well, I it, mean, let's make a game where pigeons get eaten by pelicans and call it. <laughs> like, uh, oh my god! Bird wars. <laughs> bird wars. Bird wars. Bird wars. Bird wars. <laughs> Can't hear James. <laughs> James like laughed so saying? hard, his thing just exploded. <laughs> Max died. Where's Max? Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, there he is. Hey, dude, have you seen that video where the, the pelican eats the pigeon? Holy shit, that was incredible. Wait, yeah. why don't we just make a game about that, about a pelican that yeah. eats pigeons? Yeah. And he has yeah. to keep the pigeons in his mouth. And then they eventually die. It's like a slow death. It's really oh, disturbing. Oh, they're flying. Whoa! <laughs> yes. It's so bad. You see the thing flying off the neck and everything. <laughs> That thing was swallowed whole, man. That's yeah. What was it thinking? It was just like, Same. I don't care. I'm hungry. You're next. <laughs> there you go. There's your next that, flappy bird. That's that's the description in that game. Uh, I don't care. Jeez. I'm hungry. You're next. <laughs> just call it like fight or flight. I don't know. No, it's gotta have a bird, <laughs> dude. It's gotta have a bird. Uh. Uh, drippy bird, digestive bird. Just digestive. call it drippy bird, and you and you control a really fat pigeon that shits on everything. Get away! There you bird. go. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Make, what, dude? Game maker, Wait. James. What are you? What are you? That, that's Make perfect. That's just like, oh, that appeals to people like, oh, you look, you shit on it, and then like, <laughs> people are just like, oh, this is really simple, and oh, I this is my type of game. This is. Would that work? Yeah, totally. <laughs> But I, yeah, I wouldn't make it. Go ahead, make it, Max. I'll uh, make it right now. I'm going to Game Maker right now. Right, right now. Send me 10, 20 cents for every dollar you make. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Stick a bunch of ads everywhere. Put it in the, uh, the little uh, BG Bandits fund. You, got, you guys want to know something hilarious? Max really actually did start up Game Maker. I did. Because <laughs> <laughs> it popped up on Steam right now. Oh that's, Ma oh, that's right. Max has started Game Maker. <laughs> By the end of this cast, I will have made uh, <laughs> Trippy Bird. <laughs> Trippy Bird. Oh Trippy Bird. God. So, is that all you've been playing, James? <laughs> that sounds so... Um, no. What have you been well, playing? Uh, I've been trying to play Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, yeah? Gerard gave me that. Oh, for... Is that on PS3? It was... Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a really late Christmas... Gift. Are you, um, do you have a PS3? Yeah, I have a PS3. When did you get that? Yeah, when did I you get that? I forgot to tell you. I tell you? Did I got you it add, did you add my, me my roommate. on PS3? No. Okay, because a lot of random people have started adding me. I don't know. Okay. I haven't oh. added really anybody except my friend at work. Okay, we'll fix that. Yeah. I haven't turned on my PS3 in a while, but we'll fix that. Yeah, uh, I have, I, I will, what's it called, my friend at work let me borrow a bunch of games, and I haven't really played that much of them. What games? God of War 3, okay. Ascension, Longer Solid 4, uh, Assassin's Creed 3, Fallout New Vegas, uh, and Grand Theft Auto 5. Nice. Oh, okay. Like, like he gave me, like, the... V stack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like that's a good stack of games, man. You're gonna yeah, um, yeah. 
Uh, and I haven't touched any of them. I've just been playing Valkyria Chronicles. And again, it's another strategy game. And it's another one of these games that where I feel like I have to restart everything constantly. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> that's um. That's I a really. Like isn't that a highly sought after game? What Valkyria Chronicles? Yeah, because I think I, that's rare now. I'm is not it sure. really? I didn't I, know. Maybe. For all you people who don't know what that game looks like here. Da, da, da. Let me grab my copy. Oh, uh, hell no, wait, wait, Kelly! Wait, grab up. your copy of. How about you the... look at my? This is the stack. If you can you see that. Oh shit! What copy do I have of something? You <laughs> got worked. These are the worked. games that he, he. Oh God. So these are the games that he let me borrow, and these are the to... games that are actually mine. Oh. You own The uh, Last of Us? Yeah. They I, made they made Lost for the PS3. Yeah, I, my <laughs> Gerard got me that as a ga gag gift. That's not a gag gift, man. <laughs> gag gift. Uh, of course, I got every episode of Doug on from Nickelodeon days. Ah. Where else can we get our social commentary about being embarrassed in elementary school? Middle school. Middle school? Yeah, he changed classes, remember? Oh, yeah. He had the Ooh. science teacher. Didn't he have, like, a wood shop class? I forget. What? What are we talking about? Na, 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 na. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he had a wood shop class. Wanted to make a beat rack. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he would fly majestically through the that's sky. That's right. <laughs> because. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> that, that fantasy where he's flying on that beat rack and yeah, then falling into his I know. death is hilarious. I know. All his fantasies are just fantastic. Dude, your nose poked my eye out, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's... <sighs> he's... He's... <laughs> Dear Diary... Today, Dear oh wow, so journal. Dear Journal, whoops. Dear Journal. Dear Journal. Wait, today I found out Porkchop was actually a girl, because he's pregnant. Holy crap. <laughs> no, I was Stinky the cat. No, I know, yeah. but, Pork, but you just found out that Porkchop is pregnant. So well, that's that a problem. Well, that was unoriginal, already <laughs> plot line. Uh, <laughs> I love how Billy West said, like, for sh that he that Doug was such a weenie. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean... Like, someone asked about it like, a, a Comic-Con or something, but... and he's like, yeah, uh, uh, Doug's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you been playing anything else, James? Um, nah, that's really it. Uh, oh, I've been playing Skullgirls on my computer a little bit. Oh, oh. nice. How do you like it? Uh, it's hard and fun. But it hard. is hard, yeah. It's a tough game. I played it yeah. against some people, and I was like, holy crap. I don't want to play against anybody. I suck That's at fighting hard. games. <laughs> I suck at fighting games. Shout out to Mariel. Shout out, random yeah. shout out to... to all you fighting game enthusiasts. Ultimate Street Fighter 4. Coming to a <laughs> big near you. Um... Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. You haven't played anything else, James. Um. No. I suggest you play. What's the game that James would like? Oh. I suggest oh, yeah, you play the game. I need to. What? I need to. Okay, after payday, I think I need to jump on some PlayStation Plus and get on the free stuff. I heard Dude, Brothers is free. Oh, yeah, yeah you Brothers should. is free. You should play Binary Domain is free. I was really impressed with Binary Domain. <laughs> that, that game was that, dope. That game is crazy. What was it called? Binary, uh, binary domain. domain. Let's go down the line. Kelly! Kelly's that yeah. way. What have you been playing? I played Octodad. Oh, oh. 
aquarium level. Cool. <laughs> how, how is that game? Dude, Kelly will I tell like you. it. Can you regale us with Tales of Fatherhood? I can. I liked it a lot. Um, I would definitely recommend it because of how unique it is. And mm-hmm. it's a little short. I, I was kind of surprised when the credits started rolling, but really? it took me... I guess I shouldn't be, but it took me like three hours. Mm-hmm. Kelly, um, I'm, I'm at the aquarium. How close am I? You're like 60% of oh. the way there. Mm. That's cool. I'm enjoying um, it. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's not I like I it's not perfect, but for what it is, uh, I mean you can't. I've already played it practically twice because I started playing it and then I watched uh, Jin play it and then I had to start over because Jin got farther and there's <laughs> no like multiple save slots so oh. Oops. Uh, but it's, it's really cool and um, I would definitely recommend it it's only like so sort of like fourteen bucks, I think. Yeah. Fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Nice and cheap. Yeah. I okay. love the theme song too. It's kind yeah. of it's so, a catchy I love that, theme song. I love that theme song. Everything about it is 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 pretty great. Mhm. And it's, it's kind of a relaxing Saturday morning cartoon vibe. Yeah. It does, right? Yeah. It reminds me of um the premise reminds me of I don't know if you guys ever watch Animaniacs, but the chicken. In Animaniacs. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chicken, Chicken Boo. Boo. Yeah. 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 Awesome. <laughs> the one that like that wins all those fights. Basically, <laughs> like just passes as a human, quote unquote. Yeah. James, That's right. you should play Octodad for those that reason alone, because that game. That's cool. You I should really. That. I love that bit from Animaniacs. Yeah, it's Octodad has that similar style of humor where it's pretty great. Yeah, it's great. No, <laughs> no one knows. Well. <laughs> Almost no one knows, and he doesn't even like talk. <laughs> doesn't he just even blubs. Talk. That's the no. best part. <laughs> <laughs> just makes octopus <laughs> noises. And everyone like <laughs> understands him, and it's like, okay. It's awesome. <laughs> Anything else, Kelly? Um, let's see. I. I want to recommend a little game made by one dude called Action Painting Pro. It's made cool. by Ian Ian McLarty, uh, who's made that um, cool. Boston X. I don't know uh, that got pretty popular. I think he did it with one other guy. But Action Painting Pro is cool because it's really simple. Like you just download it and you play it from like you extract it and it, it just starts playing. And it's kind of like you're in MS Paint. But you're, you're, there's a little guy, and okay. there's different like levels that and and collectibles, and you need to jump from level to level to get the collectibles. And there's like there's three bars that are slowly depleting. Um, one's a heart, one's a dollar sign, and one is I think supposed to be like creativity. So you can't let any of those bars run out, or else it's game over. Um, and there's also like um, different paint tools, you know, like there's a bucket and a line tool, and when you pick those up, the guy starts drawing on the blank canvas, and so it's game over. Also, if you fall off, which I did quite a few times, <laughs> um, uh, and then at the end, like y- y- it shows you your your masterpiece, and you can take a screenshot of it or whatever you will, but um, it's a really fun, quick game, but I was playing it. I was playing it on the ride down to Magfest, actually, saw, on my laptop. Yeah. Um, mm. But anybody can play it uh, if you have a PC. I'm not sure if it's for Mac. Oh, yeah, Windows and Mac. Uh, so I would recommend giving it a look see because it takes like two minutes. I will. Okay. I will totally mm-hmm. give that a look. See. Action yeah. Pro. What? Action Painting Pro. Action, Action Painting, painting Pro. Pro. That sounds yeah. awesome. Pro. It's mostly because of Kill Screen that I 
uh, I start hearing about all these sort of I was gonna small I was gonna stickers say. in here. Games. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I was gonna say like Kelly, like since you've been working at Kill Screen, have you been exposed to more like random like assortment of games and stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. Because every week we pick three games uh, to like to our playlist, and it's Kill Screen, so a lot of them are like really small, made by one person. Like, no, there you know. are stickers in here. Anyway, <laughs> was that Relakuma? What was that? Yeah. What's the stickers? I, I I I didn't know there were stickers in this thing. In what? What is? What are you opening? I I, I have this. A pedo don't bear? Ask me why. <laughs> no, it's Relakuma. Oh, I don't know what that is. Dude. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, but it's just a. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> As to what Kelly was saying, yes. Yeah. Uh, Indie games galore? Yes. Yeah, like um, this week, for example, our picks are Ali Ali, which is the skateboarding oh, game. Oh, yeah. Vita. Dude, I want to play that because it looks like um, a fun little Na- game. Nason C, uh, which it's is. A trip. Yeah, uh, Patrick d- uploaded a quick look of it today, I think. And it's a trip. Yeah, it's, I, think I'm, I think it's made by five people. And then Elise Infinity, which is made by one dude for the iOS. Man, that's really awesome. Action. Oh, I, I played some threes on Max's phone. How is that? I don't even know what that game is. They, I hear people talk about it all the time. Ooh. It's a... Threes? Yeah. It's made by three people, first of all, so... Cool. That's pretty cute. Um, it's on iOS, right? Yeah, only iOS, so I can't mm. play it. Okay. You can which play, is why I play it on Max's. Yeah, I got that. It's a cute, it's it's really, f- it addictive puzzle game. From is it a match I... three? No, it's a match two, but oh, you oh. you basically scroll. There, there's there's a four by four grid of numbers, and you have mm. to add them together and then combine those together to make bigger numbers. So you would combine a one and two to make a three, and then okay. from there on it's all multiples of three. You have to combine a three and three to get a six, and okay. then a six and another six to make a twelve, and you have to keep going until you, like, there's no more space left on your board because you messed up the, the, moving the blocks around or whatever. Okay. Have you played any more, Max? Yep. <laughs> no hesitation. What is? Well, what's your highest score? Like two thousand seven hundred something. Okay. Yeah, it's, that it's, sounds that's a, like, like a lot. It's really not like he, there's on the giant bomb cast. They're talking about uh, Dave Lang got something like twenty seven thousand. Oh. Which I don't understand. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I want to play it. Everyone talks about how cool that game is. Yeah. What game? Threes. Threes on iOS. Threes. Okay. Check Threes. it out. Threes. With an exclamation point. That's right, oh, yeah. There's okay. an exclamation point. Wait, James, do you have work tonight? I do. Oh, okay. I'm just wondering. That's alright. It's cool. Okay. Threes with an exclamation point. What yeah, else have okay. you been playing, Kelly? Oh, it's $2. I started. <laughs> I started playing Bravely Default. And oh, I know. Ooh, Brave. is it? How is that? Max has played more of it, so I'll let him talk about it. Getting oh, it was well, an adventure. Because you, yeah. you have like you segued into that. The, you still, you still have like a yeah. fresh vibe from it. A what vibe? The fresh vibe. You, yeah, you kind of have. It's still like fresh in your head and. You know, you've had, yeah. like, just the initial taste of it. Initial, well, initial taste was the demo, and honestly, the okay. the demo kind of turned me off a little bit. I, I mean, because that's, everything, that's, yeah, it gave you a bunch of, of stuff all at once. That's so. kind of why I avoid oh. demos, because sometimes the demo just kind of comes off as the worst presentation. So, yeah. Yeah, and they and they try too. Like with the demo yeah. for Bravely Default, they gave you like quests that will, are not in the f- actual game. But at the same time, it's still like, yeah, like, Kelly. Actually, I was like, I was like, 
I'm gonna still play this, but I don't think I should have played the demo. Like the the initial. Wow, impression. so they went they went out of their way still to yeah. make like a demo build, basically. Yeah, Dude, that's what the it demo. Did, like, the, uh, like I would just avoid the demo, and so I'll just play the game and let it stand on its own. So yeah, the, the way it. So far? <clears throat> I like it so far because the story is it, it it starts off and it's a little silly but then once it starts going it's like oh this is actually pretty interesting uh because okay. cuz yeah and in the demo they don't really explain any much of the story at all it's just like you get plopped down in this world and then you have to do some fetch quests and and it's like okay but in but the actual game, yeah, there's... I like the the, the flow of it um, in regards to the amount of time you spend in, a, in like a dialogue cutscene and versus how much time you're in a town and how much time you're in a dungeon. I really like it. It reminds me of all the Final Fantasies I really liked, like yeah. 5. Like yeah. when I... Yeah, I was telling Max, it reminds me of five and nine, which are two of my favorites. Five because of the the job class. Yeah, and... I heard isn't wasn't Rarely Default really a Final Fantasy title, but they just changed it to Rarely Default. Uh, it was a it was going to be a sequel to Final Fantasy IV: Warriors, Warriors of Light for the Light. DS. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. And, and then it got and you can actually see a ton. There's actually a couple characters in it that are from that game, um, but. They pretty much decide. Oh wait, we're just gonna make it. The, we're going to make its own thing. And they you think did. it's because that game didn't. You know, I mean, it didn't do crazy good, right? Uh, I don't know. I pr I think. I wonder why. I feel I, so or, weird about like a lot of the RPGs from just a lot of Square RPGs from RP you know, from Game Boy Advance and GameCube. Yeah. Well, you know, actually, I did. I did read an article. Uh, it was an interview with the director, and he said, you know, the way Bravely Default is now, we wanted to make a new series, and we figured like this is the best way to like start branching off into a new series is to mix sort of the familiar with some new mechanics. Mm -hmm. But then Bravely Second will be like probably a little more. The, the sequel to Bravely Default will probably be a little more different. Um, yeah. Uh, so you which think is... they're gonna go with a little more, <clears throat> a little more modern? Design? Uh, oh, I don't know. That's that's a good question. I'm curious to see what they'll not. do, though. Yeah, because the the system they have now is really sweet. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they'll keep they'll keep the core fundamentals of that. It just I think they're just trying to be like it's sort of like in the it's within the realm of Final Fantasy for sure, but it's going to it's it, they they knew what they wanted to make as far as an RPG goes, and they they succeeded, and uh, I think where they go from here, it'd be nice to see them. I think they might try and experiment with some certain things. Like, they straight up, like, in Japan, they had, um, they had Bravely Default Flying Fairy, but then they did a re-release of the game called, literally called Bravely Default for the sequel. And, and for the sequel has a lot of, like, improvements and things they wanted to fix. Uh, and that's the version we got, is, is technically for the sequel. So that's where like mechan there's like a, a mechanic called Bravely Second that's actually in Bravely Default. Um, but uh, yeah, so sorry, continue, Kelly. Um, that's you can continue because I pretty much said everything. I, you you're much further into it. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, <laughs> uh, How many hours are you into it? I am. Let's see right here now. Uh, I am. It's like twenty hours in. Whoa. Wow. Nice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I did mostly on the the weekend of Katsukon, actually. <laughs> um. Katsukon. Katsukon. Uh, yeah. Uh, I really like so, it. I. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So how was Katsukon? Like, how's the um, what animes or whatever? Uh, it, it was okay. It was fun, but I don't think it was necessarily for the con itself. It was it was fun because we got to see some people and we just got to hang out and relax. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, okay. Because I I find, uh, 
I find that with anime, like, there's anime that I like, but most anime nowadays, like, new anime is not appealing to me, and if there is something good out there, then I'd like to see it, but, yeah, you, you agree, Matt? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, so, I'm, so, uh, I, uh, uh it was, dig in it was, some, some current animes, though. Do you, uh, yeah, have you seen anything good? Attack. What was it? Attack. Attack on Titan? Yeah. Oh, oh, Attack. Mm. Yeah, I, I watched the first episode of that, and I'd like to see the rest, so... Like, I'll holy shit, what a crazy fucking anime. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, uh... Like, a lot of my other friends who are into anime keep telling me to watch that, and, like, Kill la Kill, and stuff have, like that. Oh, I, still I have seen Kill la Kill. I have been watching Kill la Kill, and that shit's pretty nuts. Like, okay. Yeah, it's... Max approved. Out. That's I what actually, people say, and I don't know, I know if that's good or not. Uh, I, I, think, does, I think Kelly recommend. Um, what, as far as anime? As yeah. the resident anime fan here. As the <laughs> biggest anime fan. I'm going to say something controversial. Cool. Do you guys... <laughs> cool. Do you guys think that anime was really good back then and now it sucks, or... Maybe no. there's always been a mix of good and bad, and when you were younger, you just didn't have as a developed palette as you do now. Uh, I, you know what? I think uh, you're, I think you're partially right. That's a little bit of it. I mean, I know that there's all this this stupid pandering moe shit now that that ne didn't necessarily exist back then. Yeah, I think that was mm. it. Is that that wasn't as prevalent, but there were still a lot of I think there were a lot of concepts that were looked at, and I think there was a lot more of a... I think there were more anime that had a sense of adventure and more colorful characters and more colorful worlds, but I, I, feel, I think... I feel like everything that they pander out now used to be just a side quirk. Yes. That, and, yeah. And, like, they noticed that They've had they had such a huge fan base that they just pandered the shit out of it, um, but I don't know. I won't say it's a bad thing. I mean, fucking people are happy. I don't know. Um, I, I kind of go with Kelly's the, uh, the one choice where it's like a, the mixed bag. Where um, I think it's always been a mixed bag, and like I've had it. A developed palette, even when I was a kid. Like, I, I can look at some shit on a cover and be like, yeah, I'm not gonna fucking dig that. Uh, but, like, and not much has changed. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm legitimately cu curious, actually. Is there any anime that you do you liked when you were younger and you saw, re-saw recently and you were like, oh man, this is not as good as I recall. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of anime to be actually. I to be tried. Honest. Me either. Like I remember cartoons as a kid, and I tried to watch an episode. I tried to watch like just a a trailer or an intro or a commercial of Samurai Pizza Cats, and it was horrible. Dude, I used to watch that on the American version, and I'd be like, "What am I watching? Okay, is this what is anime? I didn't know what you anime hear that, was." That goofy white dude's voice, I'm like, no, they do. like, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I would like, I would like to see the Japanese version of Samurai Pizza Cats because I, I, I don't know if that was a show that was also a hack job, like you know that they took and they sort of. I think they recut a lot of that footage. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt, doubt and say that's what happened. Cause what the hell? Cause that's what happened to anime back in the you know 80s and 90s for the most part. At least for kids, kid for kids shows. I think you know there were certain things that you know they just that just had a poor dub or something. Just hack sauce. It's just hack sauce. Um, yeah, actually, Kelly, you're, you're probably you're. Yeah, I think you're right too. It, there was it was a mixed bag because there was tons of I'm, there's definitely tons of shit back in the you know back during the era of like anime that I liked. But uh, I don't I, think there was ever an era of anime I I specifically liked. Yeah. But because like um, when I remember most of the animes that were available as a kid, everything was a robot. Yeah. Yeah, it was. 
Like, yeah. Okay, it was like Micross, Evangelion. Techno Man. Uh, yeah. Gundam. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Pat Labor. Uh, Big Bad Beetleborgs. <laughs> there, you know what I mean? Uh, it, it just, yeah. There's so many robots. There were a lot of robots. Maybe that's why I didn't get into it. Yeah, that's... I I am racist against robots. <laughs> Kelly is called a robophobe. A robophobe. Robophobe. <laughs> only wants the real thing. Androids need on the pie. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> actually, oh wow, I completely forgot what I was going to say. No, I'm sorry, it had to do with Attack on Titan. The okay. guy who, just to circle back around to Bravely Default, the guy who composed the theme song for Bra for Attack oh, on Titan wow. did the, the whole soundtrack for Bravely Default. Yeah, that must be nice. Yo, dude, it is fucking... The music's like you've got this really beautiful fantasy world, and then you've got this like power metal going on, and some actually some just general good. I think like the does it have theme. like nice swells? Yes, Kelly, would you say it has nice swells? I like haven't really heard it. Swelling? Oh shit! Like I mean, I've been I've been at traveling Katsu Khan, so I didn't really have the music going at all. That's true. Yeah. Well, when you when you hear those swells, let us know what you think. What when's the next thing to go to? Uh, Pax East. When's Pax East? Oh yeah, Pax East. That's a. Uh... We don't have badges. So... Yeah, we don't have badges. <laughs> How about I just come to town when it's Pax East? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just. Why don't we just crash? Just Pax crash. East. Actually, I'm still as of right now. I'm still going to Boston anyway. Okay. So, because I've all but, these vacation hours and I need to use them. Oh, oh, yeah. oh that'd be, that'd be awesome. been, I, I wanted to save it for you guys. Ah, uh, use those vacation. I start work on March third, so I have oh. this accrue vacation hours. Oh shit! So, I might go to like... RTX. So, ooh, rooster well. teeth. Uh, not. Big enough fan of Rooster Teeth. I don't know. What <laughs> Me either. So, it, so you were literally going just for Mega Sixty Four. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, and um, I don't, I, I don't know. Marcus and Sam were thinking about going. Oh, cool. So, yeah, Shout talking out. about vacation plans on the podcast. <laughs> This is awkward. Well, I'm trying. I hope nobody. Uh... Guys, I've been wa I've been working forever, and yeah, I haven't seen anybody. Yeah, no. we, we, we would uh, we would love to have the two of you out here. We would gladly. There's I I'd feel bad though because there's nothing to do here. Yeah, that's true. It's well, true. Max likes well, Connecticut. He can he can do something. <laughs> <laughs> like a dance. I mean, that's all I want to do. We can go to New York. Just yeah, we can totally New York. We can just dance in Max's Max's house. <laughs> uh, write in and tell us if you were going to Connecticut, what would you like to see? Yeah. In Connecticut. What do you think of Connecticut in general? Impressions. Tell us right now. Um. Because I know that you all have like one or two words that pop into your head when someone says a state name. Connecticut. For exa example, I, I can't think of anything about Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, no. Uh, wait, wait, uh, wait. Go on. Connecticut. I think about. Purple. Because I only associate Mexican. Connecticut with you guys, so yeah. it's, it's really it. Think wow. about Max wow. and Kelly. They're state reps. Stay yeah. reps. Take that, Rosa Delora. <laughs> In your face, uh, kinetic cut. You've been kinetic cut. Oh! Yeah. Snip, snip. 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 Did you know that Connecticut means long river? I did not know that. Wow, I'm a Dude, terrible representative. 
So Connecticut River is essentially Long River River. Long oh, River. Oh, snap. Long River. We're also called the Nutmeg State. Mm. And... Well, a, lot of, a lot of guns, a lot of famous guns around the world were were actually created <laughs> That's here. True. That's true. That's horrible. The American like Robin is our state bird. We have eh. a bear. We got a, like a bear, a brown bear. <laughs> Why? Walk. There's no bears here. <laughs> Our logo oh, should be like a bird, a robin, and a bear. Like, we only <laughs> hanging out. <laughs> Playing video games. Game. <laughs> the bear on our flag should be in a cage. <laughs> yeah, because honestly, like. There's no bears. It's fucked up. <laughs> you know, grizzlies? Have you ever seen a grizzly? Not in real life, no. They live in your backyard. I've never seen a real grizzly. Oh, man. I have it, dude. Everyone's... Am I missing out or something? Oh no! What? You got? Dude, are we There's a grizzly games? in your house. All oh, your faces are just okay. Okay. I... I. I no. I saw your. All your faces were disappearing. Oh. Anyway. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> disappearing faces. No, I haven't seen a bear. Do <laughs> you know what the Connecticut state animal is? What's the Connecticut State Animal. I'm, it's bigger than a grizzly. Uh, I'm oh, gonna shit. say it's two grizzlies. <laughs> <laughs> One standing on top of the other. It's like, you take that, California. <laughs> two of them. You know, Kelly, the first thing that came to my head was a whale. I, I was gonna say, is it a whale? Dude, it's a whale? Be so Wait, cool. is it really? It's just the sperm whale. Dude, Connecticut. Whoa. I was just like, whales are bigger than everything else, so it's gotta be a whale. I did not know that. I'm a shit. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, no, sperm that's whale. Connecticut in you. Sperm whale. That's you've just awoken oh. the Connecticut. Ew. <laughs> so is there like a state mating call where you guys just croon like a whale? What? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like in the corner, like, uh, guys. I'm from Connecticut, let me holla. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> I'm learning a lot of things about Connecticut. I'm learning a lot of things about myself right now. <laughs> so Max, uh, what have you been playing? Fantastic. Um, so aside from Bla Bravely Default, Fault, uh, <laughs> from Bravely Default, I, I, uh, I've been playing a lot of stuff. I, I, I started playing Strider last night. That's yeah, I started cool. playing that this morning. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Uh, it's it's nice and fast, and even though it has sort of a Metroid Castlevania. Um, oh, the new Strider. Yeah, it has a setup like that. Um, the emphasis is is still less on exploration, more just like going crazy, just run and gun. Oh, it's yeah. it's run and gun, man. It's the Metal Gear Rising of 2D. It is. I would, and really like, like you know, just tiny little nitpicks aside, mechanically, it's pretty good. What Solid. are you playing it on? PS3. I'm oh, playing it okay. on PC. Oh wait! Oh, actually, I do have a question for you, Matt. Yeah. What's the frame rate on PC? It's capped at sixty. Oh, you gotta be shitting me! Why? No, but don't get on PS3. Is it on it's... Steam? It's yes, capped on, on PS3. Dude, it it's at Steam? thirty. Oh, damn! Matt, I was just like, Steam? yeah, it's yeah, on it's Steam. On... It's on Steam okay. right now. If you go to the front page, you'll see Strider right there. Dude, how much? Uh, it's fifteen bucks. So Dude, you might want to wait for a. Oh, oh yeah. sweet! Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ikaruga is oh, that's right. Ikaruga's on there. Uh, yeah, that just came out. Uh, like, oh. do I buy it? <laughs> Dude, do it. I I was playing it just before I was playing Strider, and I was just like, "All right, died in two minutes. That's pretty good." Awesome, <laughs> man. Yeah. Like, what's it called? Uh, I've been following like uh, this the. The dude who did the art for Super Meat Boy on Tumblr. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, like, from the way he makes it sound, like, the success from Super Meat Boy has not been good. What do you like, mean? Like, the success has kind of strained his relationships with family and stuff, and, like, money sucks. 
Really? And he's like, yeah. Uh, That's intense. Kind of feels like with the community, with the indie game scene, is kind of it. It's it's become a niche within its net within a niche, and it's uh, people just kind of polarized more, and it's it's a it's become like the weird political game that the industry was already, and it, like. Wait. Oh, no. so- so, so wait, if I'm getting this right, so people are people complaining that Super Meat Boy is no, no, like no one's a... complaining about Super Meat Boy. Oh, okay. He's just saying that like that the success of make of that game has yeah. kind of strained life a little bit. Oh, and he he likes making games, but like as far as yeah, that's why the Flappy Bird it, dude it's, wanted it's, out. It's harder. Man. It's harder to make. An indie game or feel indie anymore. That's what uh, the flappy so dude wanted out, man. He was just like, no, this, this popularity is too not indie for me. <laughs> Maybe. That's probably what word it is. indie is has little meaning nowadays. It does. I don't like. I I, I just want to call things a game. Yeah. That's it. I just be like, this, like, this is a game. This is a game. It's killscreen.com. <laughs> Killscreen.com. I want to either like this game or not like. Uh, I want to. I, I will either like this game or not like this game. It has nothing to do with whether it is a triple A title or a indie title. Now we got stuff like indie, early access, Kickstarted and, game. And then we got games that are still published by the developer, but they're being funded by Sony. Oh where... yeah, that's we- yeah stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, you know that's weird. Like that's who's weird. to say? What's yeah. going on? What's what's going on, guys? This is stupid. Fuck, fuck all this. So, anyways, like, Max is making Ollie. an indie game right now. <laughs> yeah, my favorite indie game is Box Zero, and uh, no, I've been. So I played some Strider, and I've been trying to get back into. I, I, my my PS3 was like downstairs for the longest time, and usually my my mom is watching TV downstairs. So like I I kick didn't her off, sh- son. Kick her off, son. <laughs> uh, but I brought the PS3 back up, so I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get back into playing some games from a back catalog. And I started playing. Uh, well, actually, getting close to the end of Legend of Dragoon, I'm in the, like, Kelly, I'm assuming I'm in, like, I mean, I'm in the last dungeon, right? Yes. Yes. It's a, it's a dungeon, but it's in parts. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, after five years, <laughs> I will have beaten Legend of Dragoon. Fantastic. It's okay. It took me, like, ten years to beat Dark Cloud. Oh, man. I did. I remember. That picture. A wonderful picture of you <laughs> taking a picture at the end is is wonderful. It's all right. It's all right. It's good. Um, and then uh, I I uh, I've been I popped in Tales of Exilia because I got that a while back and I wanted to try that out. That's pretty cool. If you like Tales, mm. check out Tales of Exilia. Tales. Tales? I don't Tales really know much about the good. Tales games. Tales uh, games? You beat stuff up, and you magic spells, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's their JRPG that, uh, that are, have been pretty consistent ever since the first one came out in, like, 96? Yeah, they're, uh, still, 96. they're still coming out with those strong... Yeah, they are. Like they haven't they haven't stopped being popular, and but and they they tend to iterate on their battle system like like every game, but it's it's similar. It's it's basically it's basically you can during a battle you can free roam around the field and then you know press buttons a press button to initiate your attack or a special move, and it's it's not like turn based combat. It's like full control in a sense, but it still has a lot of the but there's uh, this delay. Yeah, so where, there's delay. Like you'll do these moves, but like, yeah, there's that like that time to recharge, I guess. Last one I played was the ROM <laughs> on SNES. Oh, for Fantasia. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're good. I Pretty mean, rad. they. Yeah. Yeah, it's, mm. they they the, definitely. The PS One version, like, ended up on iOS for free. Like, really? Just right. A couple weeks ago. Oh. Yeah, that was. And they they plugged in a bunch of. Uh, oh yeah, a, that's right. Yeah. For, I really hate uh, the control advanced. scheme though. Why does anybody? Nobody thinks that way to control a game is actually good. Nope. Like it's mm. terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I don't. Even I, actually, now that they have that controller adapter, I wonder how people have liked that. Me too. Yeah. That looks fun. I'll be honest. Oh, Fantasia or the just controller? The, oh, the controller. Yeah, I was just like, oh, okay, this is a simple scheme. Might work out well. Uh. Yeah, so, yeah, but anyway, yeah, so Tales games, they tend to, they tend to stick within anime tropes. Nothing, like, crazy, like, like, perverted stuff, but they definitely are more anime-centric in their... Are um, all JRPGs, for the most part, though? This one sort of plays it more more close. Yeah, I, I, I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's definitely more, I would say Tales follows... A certain, uh, a certain feel more often in each iteration than Final Fantasy does. Um, Let's say that again. Uh, or... Tales games. Wow, I'm sorry. Yeah, Tales games feel more similar to each other than say every, like Final Fantasy games do. Like as okay. far as like theme and tone. Okay. Um, yeah. Which Final Fantasy? What tone? From Final Fantasy, does it they feel the most like? Uh, if you had to pick, just the tone. The kind of their, its own thing. I, I would say a mix of. Hmm. All right, never mind. You're off the hook. Nine <laughs> and five. They're a mix of nine and five. But I love nine and five. <laughs> so you might like tails. There you go. There you go. Get out. Yeah. Actually, they get just get into released... tails today. And get That's out. That's how I'm gonna rate things: either get out or get into. That's perfect. <laughs> I think we need a good yes or no on this. So that's a good rating system. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like Kotaku. Uh, get out. Just get out or get in. Get out. Get in. Absolutely. Uh, actually, uh, before we even went, I just realized we went to two cons at the same place in Baltimore between casts. Because we went to... Oh, that one's not important. <laughs> Magfest? <laughs> yeah, it's, the video game one's not important. Magfest! Uh, I, for, I forgot that we haven't casted since then. Right? Wow. I've always wanted to go to Magfest. It's a uh, oh dude, you would fucking love it. Actually, both of you would because yeah. Who what am I wouldn't? talking about? Who wouldn't? There's a even if you don't like arcade. video games, you would love it. What? Wow, yeah. that sounds I don't know fantastic. That. Actually, yeah. If you didn't like video games, I think you'd have a good time because you'd the still area find something them. to do. Yeah, and there aren't really any like. Uh, big name vendors either. It's it's like like you won't see Capcom setting up a booth or Sega or Nintendo there. It's all small vendors. Like a lot of the brick and mortar stores set up their stuff there. Oh, and, that's uh, awesome. Yeah. So you got that. Find some and, treasures. Dude, I made out pretty well. Like for <laughs> how how things were priced. <laughs> like they had. I got a copy of dragon quest 7 for 50 dollars that game wow. was really over 100 and it was in good condition too Dude. wow yeah Gold that's i know i know gerard was talking about that game when we were in california and it was just like god damn i gotta play this game because it sounds so good yeah um I, they, they're making that that remake look really good man yeah they they are i think is that that's out in japan or is that not out there yet? i don't think it's out yet Oh man! Like, I, don't think, I don't think it's not like good. footage of that thing has been leaking slow. Yeah, man, that's gonna sell so many 3DSs for people who don't have 3DSs yet. Yeah, I mean, considering that that game still sells okay to this day. Yeah. There. 
It's crazy. Yeah. All sorts of crazy. Oh, James um, Gerard, the resident dragon quest <laughs> dudes. <laughs> Did you play Dragon Quest Eight, James? Yeah. Did you like it? I didn't finish it. You didn't finish it? AKA No it was hard. No. It was really hard. Yeah. I felt like I had to grind a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's really yeah. what has to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. That has yeah. to happen. Maybe. Yeah. Don't worry. Like grinding putting, grinding in that, that game is hard because, like, fucking, you have to run out there so far, and to get back into town to heal is such a bitch. <laughs> it kind of is. It follows the conventions to a T of yeah. that series, but it's, yeah. Well, oh, man, actually, did uh, did you see that they're putting Dragon Quest one through eight out on phones, including eight? They oh, had, and it was just with or without microtransactions. Oh, now that's a good question. Oh. Probably with. I don't know. Did did Square put microtransactions in any of the Final Fantasy games they put out on iOS? Oh, they did. I'm sure, they, I think they did. Yeah, that one abomination. Yeah, sure, them right. Oh, not, yeah. not that. There was that one where I could have sworn there was like a big old. All the bravest. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's stupid. That's the one. <laughs> I never played it. Oh, dude, it is. I remember is... you. You're like, yeah, it was horrible. It's horrible, and they did a couple things pretty cool, like keep the music the same, like from the actual game, like the original track file, and that's it. <laughs> Do you think the theater rhythm, the second theater rhythm is going to come here? Yes, because they it's going to it's uh, already confirmed to come to Europe. Okay. Um, what does that mean? That means that it will be localized, which means it shouldn't be too hard to bring over here. Localized. Localized. Uh, yeah. It makes me want to get another 3ds. <laughs> oh, that's right. Didn't you? What do you mean another, you... James? Because yeah. there's a there's a theater rhythm edition XL. Oh, thing. you want that one? Yeah. Uh, it looked cool. Well, Kelly, you one. wanted that too, right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Do you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> Kelly? I don't know. Yeah, I mentioned that I wanted it, even though I have a perfectly fine 3ds. Me too. I really oh, want it. Oh, you though. guys like, want it. The, si the, the silence after your. Yeah. <laughs> spills it out. Um, Have you seen that Yoshi one? Oh, yeah, yeah. I did that. That looks cool, but I man, that game it. looks stupid. Does it? I haven't seen anything about it. The graphics for that new Yoshi game look like shit. I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> seen, I haven't seen anything about it, dude. Like, okay, the most annoying thing apart uh, about that Yoshi, his eyes are static. Oh, yeah, they are. What? Really? So yeah, just his like... eyes are static, so, like, when he runs, they don't follow, like, you usually see Yoshi <laughs> emote or move. They just, they're still, and it's so zombifying. And the, oh, that's and the weird. aesthetic is so retardedly fucking sketchy. Like, it, it's... It's like they had a nice vectored fucking layout, or they had a, like this decent concept of like cell shading, I guess. But it looks like shit. <laughs> it kind of it kind of looks like Yoshi sixty four, Yoshi's Island sixty four a little bit. Oh. I mean, I liked Yoshi Story. Yeah. Oh but, yeah, Yoshi Story. But this game looks like shit. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Like, you, you couldn't just do Yoki's <laughs> Island 2 again? Like, fuck. Nope. No, James. I can't just do that. That would require an effort. Yeah, but... <laughs> have you seen this game? No, no, I haven't. I'll check it out after. Okay, good. Uh, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have you been playing, Matt? Um... Recently? Let's see. I jumped on that Titanfall beta. 
That's what, oh. That's what Royce was watching me play. Yes, like a couple days ago. Oh shit! I completely missed this. Dude. Yeah. Good. Are you watching or playing? Uh, I was playing the Titanfall beta. It ended today. Um. Titanfall beta. Yeah. Okay. My God. <laughs> that game is pretty fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh. They did a good job at making you feel like you're having fun. <laughs> Even when you lose, <laughs> that game is still pretty fun. Even when you, you want to kill yourself and you're yeah. not having fun. Dude, I, I checked after I stopped playing. I was like, okay, I played this for a good amount this weekend. How much did, how many hours? Dude, I sank like 14 hours into a beta. What the hell? Whoa. Holy crap. Who does that? I might have... I remember I poured a lot of time into the, the Crisis 2 beta. Really? Oh, well, yeah, I mean... Yeah. But I was just like, wow, I, I, a lot of time passed, so yeah. that That's really fun. And then, and then I, remember when I, I remember when I bought the game, I didn't fucking play it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Titanfall is fun. You already know if you want to play it, you already know if you don't want to play it, whatever. It definitely... Footage does not make that game. You need to, you need to feel how. You have it, to play it. You need to play it. Um, I've been trying to catch up on a lot of games. I beat that Evo Land game a couple days ago. Uh, how, how does that end, dude? Spoilers. There's, <laughs> that game ends weird. Yeah. You find out there's this evil guy named Z E Y P H Y O S basically Sephiroth, right? And he kills your partner. <laughs> and you kill him back. <laughs> and the game ends. You so, kill him back. So. I'm gonna kill you back. It was very interesting. <laughs> At one point you get an airship. Airship music. I mean, I know it's a homage to a lot of RPGs. Yeah. But I was pretty glad when it was over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good review. That's a good review. Uh, <laughs> wow. yeah. It was interesting. <laughs> it's one of... Yeah, it was interesting. Um, I've been trying to catch up on a lot of games. Like, I've been trying to play... Enslaved... For PC, because that came out on PC. Oh. Uh, that game seems pretty cool. Uh, I, I need to beat Lords of Shadow, like, before Lords of Shadow 2 comes out. Yeah. I already spoiled it for myself for beating Lords of Shadow, for playing the Lords of Shadow 2 demo, because it straight up starts off, I guess, how Lords of Shadows 1 ends. Have you played Mirror <laughs> yet? No, I'm not going to play that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Max, you already kind of told me how Lords of Shadow 1 ends. Uh, yeah. But, dude. Like, that was fine, but man, I was really lost in Lords of Shadows 2. Yeah. Because the demo I played was literally a bunch of people storming through the castle, and little I did, did I know that dude Gabriel looks back. Oh, crap, this dude is Dracula already. <laughs> like, like, what? He is sucking blood and not happy about it. <laughs> and set pieces in that game are, are, are pretty pretty nice to see so try nice. the demo and then as Max was saying I was playing Strider and that's pretty much I mean you played the Dark Souls 2 uh, beta right? I did and I got my ass handed okay. and then I said and then I uninstalled it and said, oh, I'm just going to wait for this thing to come out. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, have you, well, in that short time that you were playing, did you notice anything different mechanically? Like, how does it handle? Does it, uh... it's, it seems quicker. Yeah? More responsive. And, uh... Harder? <laughs> harder? Wow. Dude, what's funny is, I didn't get to witness this, but, like, because I, I, like, stopped early. But, like, when... Apparently when the beta was going on, halfway through the beta, it ends and says, Hey, we just turned on hard mode. 
Enjoy. What? What? <laughs> yeah, and everyone was getting wrecked, like left and right. That's and cool. Then, and they said, they recently <laughs> announced that that hard mode that they had was too easy, and they're making the final game even harder than that hard mode. Yo, so, I'm happy. All we're, right. We're all gonna die. And we're all gonna die. And there's nothing really anything else cool. Um, have cool? you guys have, have you guys jumped any on uh, the Last of Us DLC? I have oh, not. No. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Speaking of that, I don't know why this reminded me. I beat Gone Home like a couple, oh, like a month ago. Oh, nice. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Yeah. For some reason, I kept thinking something scary was gonna happen, but no. <laughs> Reminded me of what you guys thought of Dear Esther, where it's just a story that plays out. Not, not bad, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I don't yeah, think I, I even mentioned I played it, like, since our last cast. I played that and The Last of Us. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot that was... Yeah. I had a emotional day because I played Gone Home and then I played... Um, then I played Episode 2... Episode one of season two of Walking Dead, oh. and then I started The Last of Us. <clears throat> uh, holy crap! Yeah, all in one day, that and it was very like emotional. it was the That's day fucked. before Thanksgiving, I think. Um, you you were thankful not to be God. any of those people. <laughs> exactly. And then I, mean, I played You Don't Know Jack, and that was the most stressful of all. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Kelly, what did you think about? Actually, I should, I should go back and say, why do you think God Home got as many, as much praise as you, as it got? I'm just curious. Because, because it tackled a subject that. Not even the subject, but the circumstances around it. I was gonna. Way, I was gonna ask you, actually. Stretch, stretch the question. Do you think it's about what the game is talking about or how it's mechanically told? Honestly, I do think... <sighs> I think it's both just because maybe not so much mechanically as it is atmospherically and the atmosphere of that game is so good and the, the environment is so so good and all the details they put in it. The mechanics are really just your a way to look at the environment. Yeah. So I mean picking stuff up and looking at around it. Like those are the mechanics and I think that just those mechanics as simple as they are, that's really all you need for that game. Okay, cuz um a lot of before playing that, a lot of people I kept talking to was like, "Dude, like they completely missed the fact that, you know, it's telling, like, a pretty cool story, something that you don't really see often. Uh, the atmosphere is great. They're just like, dude, you can pick up tapes and just, like, do that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, like Shenmue or something? I'm just like, <laughs> so, I'm just... <laughs> so I'm just like, what the heck? It took me a long time to play that game because everyone was, like, smothering me with, with that. No, but... Yeah, I definitely looked at everything I could find. Yeah, me and too. And Max, Max watched me play it, actually, and weren't there a few things that you didn't notice? Yeah, so just certain environmental details, and actually some uh, some audio cues, because, you know, when you go through that game, you'll, uh, you know, certain, like... Definitely play it with headphones. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, actually, yeah. That, oddly enough, that is, like, one of the games you probably should be playing with headphones because the atmosphere is so well done. Like, just the rain yeah. outside. Just basically... The thunderclaps, like, all... Just everything. Yeah, it actually kind of comes off as a horror game in the yeah. beginning, and then you sort of get... <laughs> you sort of, like... Just sort of thrown into this, like, little story. And the story's, like, comforting. Like, to, I felt like the story was comforting to hear and, like, read about as I was going about the house, yeah. because everything else was creeping me out. Yeah, exactly. It, it star exactly. started, it's funny you say horror, because Gone Home started as an am amnesia I mod. I downloaded it. Oh, yeah. I, haven't, I, haven't, right. I haven't fired it up yet, but I should, I should try that mod, now that I know what the house layout of that game is. <laughs> 
I want to play the Justine DLC. I never played that, but I'm afraid. Uh, uh yeah. It's very scary. It starts off yeah, cause pretty the, brutal. Because right. I was looking at the the enemies you encounter, and they're apparently their suitors, or like past suitors of the woman you're playing as. Oh. So I'm just like, shit, that sounds... <laughs> Horrible. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Why could I you love me? I don't know if it's like when I playing as a as a woman. Uh, like if my character is a woman, I get more scared, and I don't know if that's because I feel if I'm sexist and because I feel like she's more prone to danger, or if that it just would, reminds me add, of myself, or that they would add like specifically more like dangerous circumstances just because you're playing as a female like that is... or or yeah or, or like and or just hearing it like I, I I'm more easily able to project myself oh, okay, okay. onto it and that's also that might also make it scarier I don't know what do you I mean, guys think well the subject matter is like you know past suitors and they're basically the enemies of the game so the the aggression towards you is sounds more personal. So that does sound a lot scarier than like I mean that's what I'm assuming it is. I I don't know. Jack yeah, that's what it, it sounds like. Yeah, and it's like damn, they made this fucking personal and um I forget I forget if this. um they made that with vendettas. Yeah. <laughs> I forget if uh been a while since I launched Amnesia, but I will get those rods this year. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, God damn it. <laughs> um. Me, me too. No, Max, you were. How far we did got, you get? Well, we got. I got past the rods. I might have to yeah. just start over. Yeah, you didn't. That's not too far in, honestly. But then again, I don't want to relive that. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I forget because when you launch Amnesia, there's like the Justine. And then there's something else you can click that launches into a different game. I forgot. What? Really? I don't, <laughs> I don't want to launch it right now because I'm, I'm using craps. I got a. I got. Uh, maybe that was just. Does Justine start sure, off? Sure. Losing that, craps. <laughs> I'm gonna lose <laughs> the craps capture. But when you start Justine, are you in a cell and you have to turn a rope? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that is Justine. Never mind. Yeah, it is. F that. that yeah, game, seriously. That game is messed up. Yeah. Ooh, so you don't start work till March? Dude's barely got into this now. <laughs> yeah, they called me. Uh, I know, randomly. Sorry. Yeah. They're preparing, <clears throat> they're preparing my stuff. That's amazing, dude. Um, dude, um, I know this is late, but can you elaborate on that whole interview process? Uh, For the city? Yeah. How they... Strap me to a polygraph and put a a pad on my butt to check <laughs> to check. <laughs> wow. So okay, hold on. I work for a city. You gotta do a background check. So James and everyone they got checked because they're the people around the vicinity of me. So whatever, that's just normal stuff when you work, right? Yeah. Okay. But they were like, hey, Matt, mm -hmm. you need to come in. First, we got to do a medical exam. Sure, no problem. Medical, physical, blood work, all good. All right, here's your final, your final test. Mm -hmm. Come over, meet this guy. Okay, this is a polygraph test. Fantastic. All right, Matt, <laughs> put this on your arm, okay? Put this on your chest, okay? Put this on your stomach. Okay, put this on your fingertips. Okay, okay. Sit on this chair. Okay. There's a pad under your chair, right under your anus. Okay. <laughs> There's also a webcam in your face. All right. Close wow. Your... Now close your eyes. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Are you involved with any gang-related activity? <laughs> <laughs> The worst part is, you can say no, but what if you're thinking about gangs? Because he brought it up, you know? 
Yeah. Yeah, I never understood those tests because yeah. wouldn't the question itself make you super nervous? Exactly. So make you start thinking about so it. So there. Like, well, what if I said yeah, yes? Yeah. So there is a control test they call it. So the the dude he goes, all right, man, I'm gonna do a control test. This is gonna shock the hell out of you. This shocks the hell out of everyone. What is five times fifteen? I was just like ah uh, thirty, and I just said anything, right? Yeah. And he was like, "All right, Matt, open your eyes. All right, the control test worked. As soon as I asked you a math question, all oh, your vitals spiked up like crazy. <laughs> that means, wow! <laughs> that means your body was nervous, and your body was very uncomfortable, and that's a lie." I was like, "Whoa!" Well, I was like, what if, "What if I was nervous?" And they were like, "Nope. If you were nervous, I would be able to read that you're nervous." If you were lying, your skin will start like shrinking, and hmm. like you'll breathe weird, oh, and your wow. butthole will start <laughs> flexing. <laughs> I want to take a test. Dude, yeah, I want to take I, this dude, too. Honestly, after after, because he was like, "All right," because they tell you the results immediately. Huh? And it's funny because I had to admit that I stole like all the software, but it's okay. It's out of my chest now. So they were like, they're like, all right, Matt, you passed. And then the guy was like, the guy was like really cool. And I was like, oh, by the way, could I buy this? <laughs> and he was like, what? All this stuff. You mean a polygraph? You a polygraph kit? You want to buy a polygraph kit? I was like, yeah. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> you need to You're be fired. You need to be certified. What? And he was like, kind of flustered, like, "What kind of like mind game did you want to have in mind, Matt? Like, are you gonna like torture your friends? What's going on?" And I'm like, "No, I just wanted to know if you could buy." I was like, "No, no, no, no. You need you need a degree, and you need to be certified. And these things are really expensive." Now get, and then he was like, "Now get out of here, you little rascal!" And I was like, "All right." <laughs> But prior to that, he was like all hard, like, "All right, we're gonna conduct this test, Matt. I want you to sit down." But then after, like, it was over, he's be he starts becoming all goofy. I'm just like, oh, "Yeah, great. <laughs> like look, this guy. look at this guy. Look at polygraphs are us over here." <laughs> hey, Fred, look at this idiot. <laughs> Dude, he was only one guy. <laughs> that it makes was... it even better if he said that because there's there's nobody yeah. else. He's just crazy. <laughs> he's just absolutely. All right, I'm getting getting out of here now. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. So, if you guys ever work at a police department, wow. prepare to get your butt scanned. Yes. Yeah. Crazy. Congratulations, Matt. That's really, Congrats, really cool. Girl. Yeah. We'll see how cool it is. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember what I wrote on like what. Uh, why you're qualified? I don't know. All on that stupid thing. Yeah. Dude, it said confidential. All of you guys started telling me, hey, I wrote this. I'm like, yeah, don't tell me that. Because <laughs> what oh. if they polygraph and go, hey, did anyone tell you about this stuff? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was <Yes>. confidential. <laughs> so I shouldn't tell you. No, it's, it's over now, dude. All right. I wrote that you have... You play guitars. I've known, <laughs> I've known that you've never broke one. <laughs> Compared to most of our friends that have broke them. <laughs> Fantastic. That, that's, you can say that a lot. Like, hey, I know this person. He's a video gamer, but he's never broke a controller out of anger. That's serious a lot. Like, that means a lot. That, yeah. Have you guys ever broke a controller? Max? No. Uh, yes. No, I've never. Yeah. I the only time I've ever broken a controller was because I was trying to clean it. Rage. Not on purpose, no. I mean, rage. Rage. Like, it was rage. Oh, on purpose. Yeah, like, I mean, I've dropped the controller and be like, oh no. Yeah, I no, I've never, I've never like broken anything out of rage, any any video game related thing out of rage or anything like. I can't even like. Even when I got really mad, I'd like like slam my fist on my leg or something. Like, yeah. God damn I, it! But I, I've... exactly, <laughs> James has done exactly that. He's fizzled out of reality for a second. <laughs> Have you, Kelly, ever done like 
throne your DDR mat? <laughs> to throw <laughs> my DDR mat? <laughs> no. I don't really get angry. Yeah. In general. Like, if I do get angry, it's like, oh man, I'm, I just feel bad. I'm, I'll ne I never. Yeah, I cry. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll, I'll like <laughs> bottle it emotional. in and be like, oh man, dude, I lost that round right now. It's, uh... I've yelled at, I've like yelled at my mom before, which I felt, I feel bad about. <laughs> yeah, I've yelled at my sister once before. But I had a good reason. I barely got my Super Nintendo. <laughs> and I made so much progress in Super Mario World. And my sister was bouncing a ball, and the ball landed on the cart, and I turned on the cart, and my save was gone. I was like, what? How did that even happen? Oh, I no. Lost it, I lost it. Oh. I remember it vividly. <laughs> I, used to, I used to know a person, though, like, that he said, like, He'd come to school and I'd be like, he'd be like, yeah, I was playing Grand Theft Auto. I got so mad though. I couldn't beat this mission, so I can't play it anymore. I was like, why? I threw my controller against my wand, shattered a million pieces. Oh well. I, I, like, I, I feel like I hear that story off the yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is the matter with <laughs> you? I don't know, crazy, crazy yeah, dude. I've never done She's anything like that. It's like, yeah. relax. I got so mad that I killed I've my cat. I smashed controllers yeah. after they stopped working though. Oh, oh like, yeah, that's different. That's just you just want to see. That's like me. Recently, I want to smash this pumpkin in in my kitchen because it's rotten. I just want to like throw it. It's nah, like already, it's no. already done. Yeah. So you just break it. Oh. Yeah. I don't Yo. understand people who like punch TVs and. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Huge turn off. I will tell you, like when dudes. Not not to say that you know w girls can't get rage too but personally you know just personally I've seen it more in boys and it is such a turn off when that happens let yeah, me tell rage you rage is not worse. it's scary it's like uh rage is not good yeah you yeah have, you have like issues you're, you're just advertising you're advertising your rapey vibes <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you know what when you put it that way i guess I guess so, James. I, I didn't say so. that. James said it. Just James put that on the record. <laughs> You're right, Kelly. I did. Yeah, all, these, all these guys are... Control are your rage, um, you fucking bastards. Yeah, and it's like weird, like... And people rage for crazy things, like, Oh, man, that guy. Man, I couldn't beat this level in Call of Duty, so I broke it. And I'm just like, dude. If you played, like, something else that was really hard... Yeah. You're, I'm uh, pretty I, sure you'd kill yourself, I, huh? I see, I see people <laughs> rage... I see people rage over like fucking Flappy Bird. Yeah. And it's like, dude, you'd never get through Super Hexagon. Oh my god. Yeah, it's stuff guy. like that, dude. Like, okay, you're raging over this. Yeah. So you're a casual and you throw, add more rage into it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, casual? Oh man, let's go right now. Right now. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I'm going to reach into my headset Stupid. and choke you. <laughs> I'm gonna reach my headset. Choke you. choke you, dude. Did you hear about the? I remember Kotaku did a story. A story. Wow. What? <laughs> about what, James? About this guy who was being choked a kid. He choked a kid. He... Yeah. There's this dude who played Call of Duty with a kid, found out where he lived. And, and then choked, choked him. him. Yeah, dude. There's a there's a guy in France who played Counter Strike with some guy. This other guy okay. shit talked. He found the other guy and stabbed him in the stomach, dude. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Whoa! Holy shit! Yeah. Knife kill. <clears throat> yeah, in your face, terrorist win. So ha! <laughs> dude, no joke, dude. Like. That's fucking insane. And you know Dude, what? you gotta like cry every once in a while or something. Yeah. Like let let, let it, it all out. out. Let yeah, it out. let it out. No, you I was told not to cry. My dad told me I was a pussy if I cried. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna choke you, Dad. And you know what, you. dude? The, how you're acting right now, Max? I I play Counter Strike every now and then with my friend. He's really good. And the people yeah. that we talk to, oh my god, I don't know if they're joke. I hope they're joking. I hope so Some too. Some of those people I... need help. Big time. Hey. Yeah. 
I think we yeah. should also like I should we should get them all in a room and have them play like a giant land party and then see what happens because yeah. I think that would be great. That's the weirdest thing about video games in general because it's like uh, sometimes I look around at the people I'm playing with and I'm like shit, do I have a problem? <laughs> but you know you know what my I will say though maybe it's part of the other side of society which I mean a lot of people try to bait you into getting mad. For example, I was playing <laughs> Titanfall recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a voice changer. I was doing this all the time. Make my voice sound like a little kid, and I was going in the <laughs> lobbies and saying, Hey, did you know that this game was made by Call of Duty people? <laughs> Call of Duty is for sissies. And people <laughs> would lose it, dude. People would lose it. They were like, Oh, get this kid out of here! Oh, get this kid out of here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. People, That's good, dude. Yeah. That's really That's good. Amazing. I would do that one and I would I would put this other one that's an old man and say are you Yeah, you showed us the old man ones. That was really good. Yeah, every time I dude, every time I did that, people would either rage or laugh. But the Wait, can you can you put it on cuz I haven't heard yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I would do this. Back in my day, only Call of Duty was the only FPS ever made. <laughs> I would do that, that, dude, and like, like literally, man, so many, like, to elicit a response is was fantastic. People were just like, "Get this old man out of here!" Or, "Get this kid out of here!" <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, like. I don't know why. I mean, it's sometimes if if you are really capable, you could tell it's an, a voice changer. But a lot of people didn't know. That that is an impressive voice yeah. changer. Like I, yeah, it's, it is it's, a pretty it came good with one. the sound card that I bought, and then for my finale, I'd be like, if we won, I'd be like, you guys got your ass out of here. Okay, Satan, how's it yeah. going? Uh, but yeah, uh, um, so rage online, people need to chill. Yeah, they, they really, really do. Just chill. That's that's why I came up with that Just name. Get out. For... Yeah. yeah. Like... Rage, get out. Get out of here. What what name, James? Um, huh? You said you. That's why you came up with that <laughs> name. What name? Yeah, impolite apology. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. James's old uh, Xbox gamer tag. That's how people treat people. Impolite apology. Hey, I'm sorry you're such an asshole. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's where it games. What are you... Are you guys... I mean, I know this year just kicked off. So tell me, what are you guys looking forward to seeing this year, games-wise? River City Ransom remake. Are we seeing... Uh... Recently, Square Enix just said that they would love to put all, like a ton more Final Fantasy now in future um, on PC. Have you guys seen that uh, Blackmore thing? No. Wait, y- what was that? Was that the uh... Blackmore? Is, is um the OG team from Snatcher reunited? The I'm OG sorry. Team that created Snatcher. Yeah, the OG team that made Snatcher reunited and they're making another. They're making a steampunk adventure game. Hmm. Whoa! That sounds what? pretty cool. Uh huh. And yeah, they have Kojima and the original artists and all that shit. That's what was, Kojima's actually working on it as well. Wow. Can you believe think so. that. You yeah. know how Ground Zeroes is coming out this year? Yeah. They no. said Phantom Pain is not out until 2015. Yeah. What? Gonna wait a while. <laughs> yeah. And Ground Zeroes <laughs> is like a two-hour game. It's two hours. I think if you, if go, you go straight, straight through, through yeah. I'm not sure if that's. But there's also like I think that a is side a content. Tease. He's a tease. He's like he's like. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm almost in the at the end of beating this one indie game I bought. Uh, it's called Ikachan. It, it was one of the games by Nicholas. Oh, yeah. Nicholas, whatever. Wait, wait. Is it the one with the little squid? Yeah. 
that was made by uh wait, was that his name? Nicholas the Cave Story that, Guy. Yeah, the Cave Story Guy. But oh, I think yeah. Nicholas is a Nicholas is a different person. I still need to play the Cave Story. <laughs> oh yeah. Check it. I'm never gonna get that real ending. That Dude, shit's hard. Yo, the real ending is so good. My friend beat it and he didn't get the real ending. It's just like, yeah, I wasn't really feeling. I'm like, dude, if you can, try and get the real ending because uh-huh. then everything happening around you makes sense and it's actually really crazy. How do you get the yeah. real ending, damn it? You have the to, real... like... Like, the only way to get the real ending is if you have the good guns. And oh. you have to, like... Like, maxed yeah. out? <laughs> yeah. I don't see well, it, how else you can make it. It's yeah, super I mean, hard. one of the guns. I mean, there's a there's a point where you can trade one of your guns for another yeah. gun. Don't do that. You gotta keep you gotta keep your first gun. You gotta stick then, with the pea shooter forever. Yeah. Um, okay. But there's also there's also a deceptive. There's this part where you have to. Most of the time, you'll probably fall into this chasm. But you can jump over it. Like you can, you can make this jump. You have to make that jump. There's like a specific part. Damn it! Okay. And oh, is it? Well, that sounds cool. You have to make that jump because, like, uh, you couldn't have taken the upgrades for the jetpack. Exactly. Yeah. And then, Whoa. And then what do they do from there? Yeah, from there, from there you're pretty good, I think. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Yeah, and obviously, you know, I, I would, I mean, I would almost recommend just like looking at a strategy guide just to see what to do to make sure you do do it right. Yeah. Um. I yeah. had to you add to YouTube the true ending. That shit. Yeah. Was, yeah. Kelly, did you ever start playing Assassin's Creed Four? No. Okay. You have a PS4. I... No, it's not screens on on PC. Oh, yeah. And it's also on. Isn't it on PS3 and 360? You, I, yes, yeah. it is actually. Okay. My friend at work told me he's been playing that a lot. Yeah, I keep hearing <laughs> it's good, but I'm just like, man, I don't want to start something new. Like I I started it, and I was like, okay, just enough to get into like the beginning, past all the tutorials and stuff, and I'm just like, all right, I got all these other games to pick. I'm not gonna lie, the the, <laughs> the DLC thing looks amazing. Oh yeah, DLC? yeah, yeah. Guys, look look at. My sp- can you click on yeah. my screen? Yes, I'm looking at it. This is what happens when you type in AC4. <laughs> <laughs> Air Canada Flight 4. Fantastic. And then it's like, oh, okay. Oh right, we were talking about this. Oh, right, okay, you were talking about Assassin's Creed. Okay. No, I was talking about. Oh, you talking about the hardcore Ben, ex refused mm-hmm. members. Oh, okay. Wow, refuse. Fantastic. Well, I don't okay. know why right now. I thought that I could scroll that down myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like mouse wheeling down, and I'm like, wait, what's happening? Oh, I'm not controlling that. So, uh, anything else you guys look forward to? This year, the order just got that new trailer. That's right. Yeah, looks, looks pretty. Yeah, it looks real pretty. Uh, yeah. I hope that gameplay holds up. And yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. What'd you guys do for Valentine's? Oh, I'll tell you my Valentine's. Oh, tell us your Valentine's. Well, Kelly, you go first. Um, I went out to a fancy Mexican restaurant. And uh, Har- uh, National Harbor because it was during Katsukan. Mm. Mm. Had some steak. Fantastic. Cool. And then they and then they gave me a um, homemade uh, s- sweet salsa that has like Hobbit I forget rose like, mangoes. Yes, yeah, fruit and nuts and stuff like mm. that. Cool. They made. There's one of those places that they make guacamole at your table. Nice. I miss California (laughs) food. (laughs) Come back and we'll treat you to tons of California food. Yeah. Like, I had no idea how, like, I knew that, obviously I knew that Mexican food was really good. 
But like everything I ate was amazing. Yeah. I'm Except for the pizza. I'm pretty sure this but year. Pizza place. This year, I want to go to that pizza place that you recommended because it looked good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this year. Oh, yeah. Now that I got all my stuff settled. Pretty sure there's no way I'm not gonna go to game days and hang out. Yay! So, yeah, so. this year is totally it has to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So I might save my vacation for that. Dude, that's just a weekend, yeah. man. Don't worry about it. You can just be like, hey, yeah. call off this week and save your vacation time for something else. Yeah, but it's like, cause it's the holidays and it's my birthday yeah, and dude. we're just gonna get <sighs> yeah. a fat burrito. Oh man. That we we're could all that just... on a pizza. Dude. Honestly, is it November yet? Like... All of February is almost done. Dude, it's I'm almost hungry. Yeah, let's, let's get it. Yeah. Those breakfast burritos and I'm good. Can I just say something about burritos? Okay. You guys, you know, well, where I ate anyway, like, uh, I went to Lucha Libre. That's um, in San Diego. Yeah. Guys don't stuff your burritos with fucking rice. Let me tell you, up here, everything... Like I feel like every burrito just comes with rice. Really? Like every store, every yeah. place is just like that's what they put in the burrito. <laughs> to stuff it. And I never get burritos, and I always wonder like why? Because it's like I like all these ingredients, and I realize one of the problems is rice. I like rice, but it's just a filler ingredient yeah. in a sandwich. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it is. It, is. it has no. It, t- it like they just load it up with yeah, rice. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, it's just filler. It's just there to. It's usually. It, that's funny because like. Usually, it, it, I, it's on I the side. I appreciate the rice more if it's not like if this burrito is not mostly tortilla. Yeah, and also, I don't know when you guys had Mexican food here. You notice the rice was like on the side, like not actually in the burrito. The rice and like beans and stuff are they usually yeah. pushed to the side so you can choose. Yeah, that's why. Like mm-hmm. over here, I just get like quesadillas or taquitos or something dumb because. It's like just the, and even that's not that great. But you know, like at least that's I know what. That's so I'm... good. Sorry, because yeah. the East yeah. got the bomb pizzas. That's what we we got for sacrificing our burritos. Yeah, we have not that yeah. great pizzas. But <laughs> the, <laughs> but the burritos with with potatoes is so good. I want to yeah. eat that so badly. The, the best breakfast burrito that I've that I had. Has potatoes in it. Yeah, there's a place yeah, that that is actually it's near, by, it's near Matt. And uh, if you go to this place and get this breakfast burrito, just make sure you didn't eat anything before. <laughs> I, oh, oh, god, yeah. damn it! We gotta stop talking about yeah, food. Yeah, we need to stop talking about food. Because when we talked about food last time, I got really hungry <laughs> because we saw that that whole table full of fries. Oh yeah, Korea is crazy. Yeah. Well, you know what? Oh, yeah. This year, yeah. we're yeah. about to make Korea look like a bunch of chumps. <laughs> it was China, but yeah. Was chi- wait, wait, it was China? One of those I think it was Asian China. countries look like chumps. <laughs> um, uh, oh, God. You should do that, though. Also, In-N-Out is really good. I just want yeah. to throw that out there. That, you got... I had that today. I'm not going to lie. Uh... <laughs> four by four. Oh. Did you get that like that carb burger? What? Uh... Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's Korean. I'm sorry. Yeah. The, uh, the uh, lettuce only. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, oh really that's good. a good. I I want to start doing that from now on. Yeah, like, dude. Getting, I, I enjoy them. I really enjoy them. Yeah. It. Yeah. That sounds good. Or there's another alternative. Uh, you're supposed you're supposed supposedly supposed to get like portobello mushrooms, mm-hmm. the caps, and just like bake oh, them, and just what? like put them in the oven, bake them so they're like like. Crunchy and soft, and then you, that's, that's your bun, and then that. Oh wow, that's, that's amazing! Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that before. Yeah, I've had it as a burger, buns. but not the bun. Yeah, yeah. I, I always, I always hear that, that, that. That's like, oh, it's really good. Like, it adds more flavor, and I'm just like, okay. Are portobello's a lot expensive though? I don't know, dude. I'm sure if you um, got like a fat one, maybe. <laughs> they sell like they sell portobello caps at our grocery store. It, it's like three in a pack. That not that expensive. Okay. A few Kelly, dollars. Yeah. I think tomorrow like we need to make our own food. We need to make burritos with potatoes. We're gonna saute some potatoes and some stuff and make our own. And then we're gonna make portobello burgers. Oh man. Fucking hungry. And then we're gonna make cookies because I want to make cookies. I've been wanting you know, like chocolate chip cookies. I've been wanting I to buy cookies in forever. Dude, I've been wanting to oh. buy just a dozen donuts and just eating them myself. Oh my god, dude! Me too. I hate <laughs> 
Oh, last I got to. They have a cookie like dough last donut. Payday, oh. Last payday, I bought a crock pot and a and. A, a oh yeah, you told me that. I was I was drinking nothing but smoothies for that week. <laughs> I recently broke my crock pot though. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Did the, I didn't pot. know. I I didn't know it wasn't stove safe. Oh, oh no! I'm sorry. Wait, did, what, so, what? So I I actually cooked like two meals in it over the stove. Oh shit. Yo, crock pots are one of the best things ever. Cause yeah. like, if you're busy, you can just have something set for you when you come back. I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. I can. I need to buy a bigger one anyway. I guess. Uh, yeah, I, did, did, I had one that was like three quarts. What happened to it? Did the ceramic like bowl crack or something? Or yeah, what? yeah. It uh, cracked when I, after I cleaned it. And oh fuck! I was like, ah, cracks? damn. But it was only like fifteen bucks. Oh, okay, that's not that's, that's not, not bad. bad, dude. That's not bad. Yeah. No. Man, we got so off topic. We're talking about Valentine's. Food. That's right. Yeah. So Kelly. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to catch up with life. I mean, uh, video yeah. games are cool and everything, but yeah. you know, you're How was yeah. Valentine's Day that for you? More interesting to me. I cooked. Oh, I cooked lobster tails. Whoa. And steaks. Oh, Whoa. And I annihilated them. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty baller. And they were cheap, dude. They were wow. Cheap, Bristol Farms in Pasadena. Go check it How out. How do you James. cook lobster tails? Do you just dude, bake them? Do you just put them in boiling really? water for ten minutes? Exactly ten minutes. Okay. And then you throw them in cold or uh, ice water afterwards, and then you crack them open, dude, and they are crunchy and fantastic. I've oh, just never that, the, had that. Is that quick, hot to cold? Yeah. Like, split the shell from the actual. No, meat? it actually. Um, no, yeah. The so the shell gets. It's really hard at first to like crack it because obviously it's gotten soft. As soon as you yeah. put it back cold, it like quickly gets cold, and then you're like crack, crack it open. But the inside stays warm, dude. It's crazy. Ooh. And then you dip it in butter that's been melted, and then put a little lime, and then you go, oh, crunchy. What's his name? The lobster that Homer was raising. Oh, okay. Pinchy. 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 And then you just Pinchy. scream and Pinchy. So good. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, so damn good. <laughs> uh, but yeah. What about you, Max? Um, uh, well, I had the most romantic oh, Valentine's yes. Day. I was also nice. at Catacon. Did you brave or default? <laughs> 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 Well, first, uh, I uh, awkwardly asked Jin and Kelly because I didn't realize what day it was if they wanted to go get dinner. And I was like, yeah, what do you guys want to eat? I was like, uh, well, uh, Max, um, we're probably going to go to... And I was like, oh, shit, right, duh. <laughs> and so then I, I like, tried calling... Hey, man, it happened. I'd like to picture... It's okay, you weren't alone. Dave I'd like to yeah. picture yeah. Max like, with his arm around both of you. <laughs> hey, guys! Guys? Like, so where, uh, are you, where are we guys going? Like, <laughs> <this> is... <laughs> So then after that, I tried calling my friends to see if they were going to get dinner, but they were already eating, and they were almost done. Those bastards. So I decided to go get a burrito alone, mm. uh, and then I went to a peep store, because there's a peep store in the same area, ah. and then I got a bunch of Mike and Ikes, I ate my burrito, then I ate way too many Mike and Ikes, <laughs> and got sick, and then played Bravely Default, and then fell asleep. <laughs> Oh my that. god! I didn't, this is the first time I'm hearing this. That I, uh, <laughs> is amazing. I made, I made a teriyaki chicken stir fry, and then I bought some chocolate that I ate alone. And oh, I should have done that shit. Is it good? That's all I did. That's all I really did. Yeah. Damn, you guys, I'm so hungry. Because it was like contemplate. I remember. Wait, no, I remember. I contemplated whether I wanted to get a drink, like beer, or go to a bar and be sad. But I ended up getting like uh, a pecan bar and an oatmeal cookie and a chai tea at Ooh. the local cafe. That sounds better than a bar, man. That does sound better than a bar. Yeah. My How was the cookie? That yeah, was pretty goodness. bomb. I just, yeah, pretty, really sweet, really good. Man. Yeah. Let me tell you about this Mike and Ike's, that literally, this Peep store yeah. has its own theme music. Cool. Yeah. It talks about Peeps, and there's Peep-related merchandise in there, and then a bunch of Mike and Ike's that you can just fill a bucket up with. Peep-related? 
Peep related. Peep related. Yeah. So you can get pillows that are shaped like peeps, or That's shirts, cool. or underwear. You know, dude. Like, I didn't have my first peep until like 2009. Really? Wow. What was your impression of it? It didn't taste anything like I thought it would look like and taste. <laughs> yeah, I know. It looks yeah, like it's it just, supposed to have like a flavor. It's just marshmallow. Yeah, I thought it was going to be some sick abomination. Because everyone always like, oh, peeps, this, peeps. I'm like, ugh. I like peeps. And I'm like, yeah. man, yeah. I like peeps. And you know what? I like candy corn, too. <laughs> yeah, I like candy corn, <laughs> too. But too much candy corn? It's bad. Like peeps and Mike and Ike's. Oh, Mike and Ike's. Have you ever gotten two peeps in the microwave and put, like, toothpicks in them? And, and see them explode Make and them stuff? joust? No. <laughs> Shouts. That sounds hilarious. You put, never... Yeah, you put toothpicks in the peeps and they joust and microwave, whatever. The funniest <laughs> thing is that, that that idea is so close. I just forgot that I was I, there was another game I played called Nidhogg. Oh, yeah. Which, oh, yeah, Nidhogg. Which, and Nidhogg is pretty much, imagine two dudes the color of peeps fencing and stabbing <laughs> the shit out of each other. That game uh, looks fantastic. That game is I just really good. I wish that I could low, local co-op with someone like James or something. I know. Well, I mean, you can. I mean, you can play online, and the online's pretty solid. Yeah, uh, I, I hear the the online is pretty damn solid. Yeah. So I mean, that game. If you want, like, it's 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 mechanically like 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 perfect. You know, for the most part, I sort mean. <laughs> Of, you guys should announce what game we should all be playing. Oh, okay. That that we think we would all appreciate, or just like in general, so we, like, so we can play together. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. By the way, I still have to. I James, I got a new camera, so we should totally film something, like like that. Max and Kelly and Jin did. Remember? Yeah. I, you need, you need to have your own West Coast. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we should do a doc. And it should just be us, like, staring and looking sad. It'd be funny. Max, we can do... <laughs> Max, we could totally do another one of those now that we're, like, hanging out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, actually, yeah we've been hanging out, like, every yeah, week. Yeah, you guys we totally, totally do should that. do that. What the Tell... fuck are we not doing? James, what are you doing this we're weekend, boring. man? This weekend? <laughs> I'm working. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm always working, but yeah, I'm, let me see. Let me check my, my schedule real quick. Okay, we'll figure it out after the cast. Uh, no, it's like right here. Let's okay. See. Um, <laughs> Find the day when Gerard is free also, because he has a lot of games. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm, <laughs> yes. I'm not off till the 20... Uh, I'll be off Saturday night on the 23rd. Okay. And then I'll be off... 23rd? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll be off next Wednesday on the 26th. Okay. Okay? I need... It's, it's, that's what I got so far. Okay, let me know when your weekends are available, because that's the best. Yeah, my weekends are hardly ever. It's okay. Or like, a, or like a Friday or something. Yeah, I always work Fridays. Okay. We'll figure Fridays. it out. Like most of the time, I'm like my off day is usually Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Mm, okay, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So hard for my life to match up with anyone's. Dude, it's all right, man. <laughs> it's all right. We're casting right now. Yeah, yeah. It's working. I'm so glad we're doing this. Um, but yeah, what game? What game? What game? If we had to pick a game that we want, we all were interested in, or what oh, you, I forgot you, to say you, that I am trying to play Link Between Worlds. That game is fantastic. Oh yeah, yeah, it's great, right? I just ooh, Link Between Worlds. I, just I need, still haven't bought that. I just need time to because yeah. like 3DS times, I feel like it's like I need to be out and somewhere. Yeah. But yeah, it's great. But game that yeah. we shall play. Mm-hmm. James what's a game we def- can play together? Yeah, what's a... Is there one yeah. on 3DS that we can? S- sub? That's free-to-play sub game? <laughs> There's a free-to-play mm. submarine game on 3DS. Oh, oh, the sequel to Steel Diver or yeah. something like Oh, that? the fucking... 
I don't want to play Steel Diver. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just don't want to. This game we can all play. We all have legit computers to play we games do. on. Yeah, we do have decent computers. We can, I have a million hard drives so we can capture a bunch of footage. Why do you have so many hard drives? I have a bunch of hard drives, man. I have one terabyte dedicated for streaming movies on my whole network. That's cool. Um, yeah. But yeah, what's a what's a fun, what's an upcoming game that we'd all could probably have fun playing with? Ooh, an upcoming game. Uh... Upcoming game. Upcoming game. Pull those kill screen previews. Yeah, I'm gonna actually do. <laughs> We're diving <laughs> in. I'm looking at the release. Like the, the calendar. Well, I'm. Yeah. Um. Editorial calendar. I don't even know. Hmm. Super Smash, Bros. Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. 3DS. Yes. Super Smash Brothers. Yo, yeah, totally I'm, oh, that's... Yeah, oh, man. actually, that'd be perfect. <laughs> what day that's is that perfect. out? When is that uh, it's out? Gonna be, it's gonna be Sometime out. this year. Yeah, it's the end of this year. They... Okay, holy Honestly, crap. Honestly, I think I need to get a Wii U. Yeah, because it looks really good. That Did Mario see... Kart looks fun, too. Yeah, it oh, does. Man. Oh, that man. Mario Kart looks amazing. Yeah. So pretty. They make I mean, they they make they last gen look new like this gen. Like it looks pretty. Yeah. Like, shit looks pretty on this. Yeah. System. Like they say it's, they can say what they will about like them jumping on the anti grav bandwagon with Mario with Sonic's fucking racing. Sonic Boom? <laughs> but you know what? It's, you know about that Sonic yeah, Boom, bro. Looks amazing. You know about yeah. that Sonic Boom, dude. <laughs> Is that, that a good game? Sonic, Sonic Boom? Boom? Dude, dude, let me tell you about Sonic Boom. <laughs> okay. The Sonic looks <laughs> so different from all the other Sonics. It looks good. Sonic has foot wraps around his shoes. Knuckles is so buff. Knuckles <laughs> did steroids. <laughs> Why would I care if my Knuckles is buff? I don't know, but... I was listening to the Bombcast, and they had a good point. They were like... What kids think edgy is now is different from what we thought edgy was when we were kids. Because when we were a kid, we were like, oh man, Sonic's tapping on this on his foot and he's like waiting <laughs> for us to go. Dude, he's so edgy, man. He's not waiting for anyone. Yeah. Yeah. And now kids think, oh man, Sonic's wearing a scarf. Dude, that's edgy. It's edgy. It's, uh, he has a couple extra spikes sticking out of his head. He's, he's, a, yeah. he's a messy hedgehog. He's, he's a, he's... Well, what's edgy now or has been since 1999 is arms crossed. Got to keep your arms crossed. Yeah, yeah Bart Simpson is like the devil, <laughs> you know, incarnate. In DreamWorks and all their movies, it's always a cartoon character doing this again. Yeah. <laughs> Did you freeze, Max? No. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, um, do you guys have Monaco? Oh, I do have Monaco, actually. Dude, I can get it if I beat the average. Yes. Um, I don't have Monaco, but you I can, should it's get on, it. Huh. It's on Humble it's Bundle. It's on Humble Bundle. You could get it for like four bucks. Uh, oh, dude. Monaco yeah. is right. about... It's about... Next week? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Monaco yeah. is about... I have, a, I have a question. These Whoa. <laughs> I have a question, Kelly. You might know this, or Max... Yeah. These two are awesome. If you bought the Humble Bundle and you wanted to get the Beat the Average games, could you raise the price back on your thing and get those Beat the Average games? What do you mean? Wait. Yeah, like, I actually don't know about this. What is it? The Beat the Average is like four bucks, right? Right. But I had most of those games, so I only put a dollar in because <laughs> I just wanted... I forgot what game it was. Gianna, Two Sisters? I forget. Oh, but yeah, it's yeah. but on your thing on your page it says you can modify you can donate more but if you donate more and beat the average do you get those other games? Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna find out. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. I need to find that out. 
Monaco. I looked at people playing that, and I was like, well, that's a fun little game. Mm -hmm. It's a game about thieves, James. Yeah, no, I, I, okay. I know what's up with Monaco. I tried it out at a game night before. Oh, right. So, um, the four of us could probably get down that, and hilarity would ensue. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, we should uh, do that next week. I know Max and Kelly are sleepy, because I know they are from the future. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Three oh. hours in the future, two hours. Three. Three. Yeah. Jeez, so it's like one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not too yeah. bad, but I've actually been going to bed earlier. On yeah, my off that's days, good. I like, I love sleeping. Yeah, like, me too. Like, I've been I love sleeping too. Trying to go to bed earlier. I need to buy yeah. an alarm clock. Stuff like that. Like on a normal day, I'm supposed to sleep at like four, and then wake up <laughs> at midnight. Yeah. Uh, I, have a, I have a question. For, oh, sorry. Go ahead, man. No, no. I was gonna say, James, you have work pretty soon, right? Yeah, I work at one thirty. Okay. Oh. Oh yes, uh, Max. I have a question. Uh, I mean, I know you don't have an alarm clock now, but I'm assuming you've had one in the past or something to set an alarm off. I did. Uh. For everybody here, <clears throat> when you set your alarm, do you set multiple alarms, or do you set one alarm that wakes you up at this one time? I and have to set. I have a jailbroken. Uh, I have a jailbroken iPhone, and I downloaded a special app that makes my phone three times louder than usual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I sleep through my alarm on my phone because it's not loud enough. But um, yeah. yeah, that's why I set. There are some days I know I'm gonna have a rough time, and I set the maximum amount of alarms that I possibly can, which yeah, is like yeah. four. Yeah. Because, um, cause, yeah, I will in my like semi-conscious state, I will turn my alarm off, like completely, and then just go back to sleep. Yeah, and then exactly. I'll have yeah. like a somewhat yeah. vague um, memory of doing and it. And you're like, just but, my, my well, phone like, uh, yeah, will ring it, like if you don't wake up by the time it. It's on auto snooze, basically. It it'll assume you, you snoozed, and it will ring again like ten minutes later. Also, oh, no. the the alarms intensify with each one. Yes. So like the, <laughs> so yes. like the, it's like if I don't if I know if I don't get up at the first nice it'll be one, crazier. It'll be worse later, and that's still <laughs> not a good enough deterrent. I don't know what to do. <laughs> no, what that's actually you? a bit one of my a big problem I have. <laughs> It's what about you, uh, Max? Um, I, I also do what Kelly does. Like, I'll have several alarms set, but I was reading this... Uh-oh. James vanished. Oh, no, He'll be James. back. He'll be back. Uh, I, um, I read this article that was talking about, you know, setting multiple alarms and, like, uh, and basically, like, hitting the snooze button too often. Like, if you go back to sleep, you'll, like, something about starting up a new REM cycle, and so the reason why you might still be groggy even after you've slept more is because maybe in between waking up and turning off the alarm, like, you weren't, you weren't fully rested from that new REM cycle. Yeah. So, like, when you wake up and you still feel like crap, even though you've got, like, a long, like, many hours of sleep, like, it actually... It worsens your... It worsens your, like... Yeah. your condition. It's so it's rough. good to have, like, just one alarm waking you up. That's apparently. not going to happen, though. <laughs> I, I, I know, it's same it's here. physically impossible for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, so. I, I, I get what that means, but I feel like... I know what they're saying, but I feel like, for me, it's always worse if I force myself to get up Yeah. as okay, soon so. as I wake up. I'll just my mic. It's fine, James. Okay, because I'm using my webcam now. That's cool. All right. Just uh, try to try to set your alarm for in between your REM cycles, which not always works out, but that's the best you can do. Mm -hmm. And then so that works. Yeah, go to sl uh, like s sleepy time is a bedtime calculator. You could it's like I have an app on my phone called Bedtime Calculator. And it basically tells me like, Damn. hey, if I so like if I go to bed right now, I should wake up at either seven, eight thirty, or ten. 
based on like my REM cycles. Wow. And you know you fucked up if you're <laughs> if you're dreaming in the middle of waking up. Like if you're dreaming and then all of a sudden you hear your alarm go off, it's like oh shit. Oh. Because yeah, you dream during your yeah. like today for yeah. example. I I guess I miscalculated because I it's hard because you don't know exactly what time you fall asleep. Mm -hmm. It takes me a while to fall asleep. So I woke up in the middle of a dream, and uh, and I felt like shit because obviously it was in the middle of a cycle. So yeah, totally downloading this. Exciting, yeah. Yeah. exciting talk. Very exciting. Yeah, very exciting. And now it's time to fulfill the sleep portion of the talk with actual <laughs> sleeping. Yes. Um, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you for shout for out, having us. Set up the Google Plus. Good job, Google Plus. Better yeah. than Skype. Oh, shots fired. Better than Skype. Because <laughs> you can see all of our beautiful faces. Exactly. I got contact lens, guys. You did? I did. I haven't worn glasses. I just got the contact lenses because I haven't oh, worn glasses. Oh, shit. I haven't oh. worn glasses in two years because it broke and I never bothered to... Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but glasses are expensive, so I see why you wouldn't. That's Dude, expensive. there's no excuse. There's websites that give you uh, glasses for free. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, shit. There's like no excuse. Or like $20 pair of glasses. No oh excuse. Goodness. I just didn't want glasses anymore. <laughs> last oh, words. Okay. James, last words. Uh, what the fuck? I don't know. Fantastic. Kelly, last words. Can I go last? Max, last words. Last words, Max. Go I love it. you all. I will right. add to that. We love you very much. Uh, Kelly? I should have started this whole cast with the, just the webcam. This looks fine. Kelly <laughs> would like to uh, add... Get out. In your face. Zooming in closer. Go get closer. Get closer. <laughs>